Hello, hello. So yesterday I had the awesome privilege of winning Aaron Longstaff's uh, boat building competition. And during um, the preview or the, oh goodness, I know I had my coffee, but I've been struggling with something else on the server. I had to like reboot my server. So my brain is not quite with me this morning. Let me try again. While we were watching the live stream, uh, there were a couple people that had asked if I had any videos showing how I built it, which I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to do any live streaming uh, while I was doing the competition beforehand. Um, and so I figured what I'll do as, a, as another option is just I'll rebuild it on my server. So that's why we're here. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And I'm going to get some of the items. Just give me one second here. I like listening to the music, but I have it too loud on my side. All right, that's better. So I don't know if anybody's watching or if anybody will watch. Let me just double check. Maybe someone's there. I don't see anybody on YouTube. If you're watching on another, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, that's welcome. Excellent. Um, I don't, I won't be able to know if you're there unless you say something there in the chat. So feel free if you want. So I built my boat on a motorboat, uh, obviously because I, you can move backwards with these things and they're stronger. Although there's no uh, whales on my server, it's still what I prefer to build on instead of the raft because of the functionality of being able to move it around. So there are some people that actually lower their foundations um, on the rafts, which I do think is a good idea. And when I built it, I completely, that uh, I blanked. I didn't even think to do that. Um, but it is something that you can do. And so uh, I'm not going to though. <laughs> it's something you can do, but I'm not going to. Oh, hey, <laughs> how are you, Liam? Uh, let me go ahead and see. All right, so I'm going to try, I've got, as you can see, I've got a video that I did take of the boat after it was done, and I'm going to kind of use it as a reference to rebuild it, because it was kind of like a freestyle build, so to recreate it, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to do my best, so I always start by uh, trying to get this back center as far back as possible, as center as possible, and then I throw down my foundation. I think originally I built in stone, but then I changed it to wood. Now, um, I do, just like on Aaron's server, the uh, structure limit for platforms was way up. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, it is on my server as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, apparently I'm okay at boat building. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Oh, aren't you supposed to be at work, Brian? <laughs> uh. Alright, so I think I also am going to need some triangle foundation, so I might as well get these things done now. So there's the ceilings. And then the triangle foundations. Yeah, I think on Aaron's server six times uh, is what they, they said. Now on my server, I think I have the multiplier up crazy amount. Um, so I, I haven't even reached it on mine. I don't know what it actually would be, but mine should be able to accommodate the same, the same build. Also, there is, um, uh, there's clipping enabled and it is just regular vanilla arc other, other than that. Uh, so this morning, I was so frustrated. So I would have done this earlier, but like, I had, uh, I, I couldn't find my server. And I was going to change the name anyway, because originally the server, I was going to try to make it a, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm going to do this five wide for my boat. So three in the foundation and then one on each side. Um, so I tried to... Uh, I tried to log in and I couldn't find it. Now, originally my server was going to, I was originally setting it up as a, I wanted it to be like a kingdom style roleplay server. 
And then as I was building to set it up, I started my YouTube channel and that kind of took off. So I realized, you know what, I'm not going to have time to run a server. So I gave up on that idea. And instead, so I knew I was thinking, you know, I might as well just restart my server. It's obviously not showing. There's something going on. I'll just change the name and restart it. And uh, I still didn't see it after we started. And then I did reboots, hard resets of my Xbox. I was troubleshooting everywhere. Oh, hey, Great Beach. Nice to see you. <laughs> How's the weather out there in Australia? Um, so I, c I couldn't find my server. And even after I did the name change and resets, and I was getting so frustrated and like, two hours go by and um, then I realized that Nitrato has a known issue I think since December 2017 I never noticed the notice about it so um, something about like a corrupted file so I started looking at my corrupted files long story short I had to go ahead and reset my server but I don't think I lost anything so that was good I'm just frustrated for the loss of time so that's why my head was a little crazy when I finally started the stream. Oh, one second there. Let me catch up on the the chat. Okay, so you said that it's cold there in Australia. Ah, okay. The function would be if you decorated it with a zip line rigging, would that be too much visual movement and cause like, you know, I have yet to try the zip lines. And I think it's outstanding, amazing, and I have yet to do it like a dope so maybe i'll try it on this one we'll try it add it yeah don't let me forget <laughs> all right so again I'm, I'm recreating this by um memory and a little bit by um watching the video that i've got up on the screen so i'm pretty sure that from the raft it went so this was i believe this is where i had my hatch frame let me just double check it. No. Okay. So starting from here. I'll just put a, a ceiling on so I know. So starting from here, I believe it was five back. One, two. I gotta get the foundations under there. Another reason why I was so frustrated about losing the time on this project, like a lot of projects piling up, which is great. I'm so excited to have help, uh, to have work and to have collaborative things people want me to do with them. I'm so happy and excited about it. But because I'm a mom, <laughs> my time home alone is so precious and so fleeting that I was so frustrated at the loss of time. Uh, I, I'm not a fast builder also, guys, uh, so I apologize. This is, it just takes a while. I don't know if I'll need to do this, especially with interruptions, if I can't get it done before um, the family starts to arrive home, then I'll need to do another stream on it. But what I might do, just depending on how these streams go, is I could always just uh, download the streams and do just turn it into like a speed build of some sort. Come on. Pop in there. Oh, so... Sorry, Great Beach. So what I'm doing today is uh, the boat that I won the build uh, competition with. Some people during the stream had asked if I had a video on how I built it. So I'm just recreating it today. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I think this fifth one might have actually have been changed. Let me see if I can build any further out. Ooh. All right, you know what? I'm going to come back to the end of the boat because it gets a little fancy back there. I'm going to try to mess with the beginning. See how far out I can go. Oh my gosh, yes they do. Now, Pilgrim I haven't I haven't uh, had the pleasure of building with because he's on PC and he's a busy guy and I I just only know him a little bit. But John, or the warrior, COTP, he's my buddy, and we've been able to uh, build together. And my goodness, that man builds fast. Quite impressed at his speed. <laughs> There's a lot of excellent builders that I've found um, that I've, you know, become friends with. And they're all really great, but I just tell you, no one, no one can build. I haven't met anybody that can build as fast as him. 
Or, like, he's really creative, too. It's not like he's just throwing up blocky structures. He's, he's throwing up some really interesting, intricate things with what he builds. So Aaron Longstaff on his Discord, uh, he had s announced uh, last week that he was going to start doing building competitions again. Um, I just need to test to see how far out this goes. And he... Um, two away from the platform. Oh, okay. So we're there already. All right, I'm going to make an adjustment here, guys. Um, yeah, so he, he did an announcement that he was going to be doing a competition. And he did build a competition. So that was quite exciting. This is weird, guys. I know I'm, like, uh, going backwards. But that's kind of how it goes. You have to figure out your how far you can go, especially if you don't start with a plan, you just start with an idea. Ah, no worries. Thanks, Liam, for stopping by. Have a good day. Now, let me just add in some triangles to see how far back that went. And I know, I, I think I did something interesting in the front, too. I might have had that part stick out at half, like a half wall. I know, Great Beach, I wish we could play together. You do all this great PvP stuff, and I really, really want to work on that. Oh, what did I get? I don't need Adobe. Silly. I picked the wrong thing. Don't tease me, guys. You try looking at uh, at these tiny things when it's a quarter of your screen. Adobe, living. I really should probably... At, at some point, if I ever get to that point, it'll be cool to, uh, to upgrade and see if I can get another monitor and have just all the streaming stuff on one screen and I could do this full screen. I could see the game full screen, that would be something. <laughs> I think I did. No. Huh. Bear with me a moment, I'm pretty sure I only did. Nope, alright. I'm gonna go in from the front, that's why it was half. Get rid of you. Let's do it from the side here. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. I think. I think I did the triangle here, and then possibly, I'm going to have to figure this one out, um, I might have done it with a wall to get that extra area. Let me just mess with it for a second to see. No, I don't think, it, you know what, I think I have to go back one more, I think that makes more sense. Yep, so I'm back four. I'm excited to see your stuff. As you could see from uh, the example of the pirate ship, I love small areas. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I think it was just from being on PvP as well. And being a solo person, I just... Oh, did I go back further? I did, yes. I love... Uh, I loved just working in a small space, trying to cram as much as I could, especially since um, I was always trying to find cracks in the in the map or holes or not under meshing, not, not nothing like going under the mesh, just trying to find spaces that were in the map that they probably didn't intend on um, and trying to see if I could, if I could like go unnoticed in an area because I didn't want alphas to bother me. 
you know? I remember when the center mat came out and I managed to find a, uh, you know, in the floating part of it. I'm sure people know all about it now, but when I flew under there, I was able to find a really, it's a very small enter, an entrance that you can get a pterodon in. Nothing bigger than a pterodon. Um, and yet, when you get in there, it was a decent size and you could build. So... It was pretty exciting, and it, it wasn't like I was under the mesh, like in other holes within the floating island. It was just an opening that just was never really closed off. What? 46 men in your tribe? No wonder why you're good at PvP. Um, I, you know, well, I really liked the grind and arc. So I didn't mind the solo so much. I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't get lonely. It did. It got, it got lonely. I would much prefer to, um, to play with people. But sometimes, um, I mean, everybody knows this about ARK. It can bring out the worst in people and um, people get really, I don't know. I don't know what the right word is, but they don't trust other people because of it have a hard time trusting and of course that's really difficult when it's in your own tribe people are thinking that they're being you know their tribe mates are stealing from them and there's a lot of infighting oh, it's just too much so that fact I like the solo but then once I get established once I got established and got everything I need in my small little compact and then I would just hoard I would just grind and grind and grind till I had so much I didn't need anymore um, and it was just surplus I, then I got super super lonely I don't know if I need to put that there no I do I look at the snap point I don't know if I did that in in the other boat but it'll give us a snap point in case we want it okay It's usually so hot in the house, and right now I'm freezing. Literally shivering. Oh, hey, Mr. McBonkers. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, nice of you to stop by. I'm just trying to work on the, um, the ship. Let's see if YouTube tells me if there's anyone else in power. Participants. Well, that's weird. Okay, I'll give up on that. So I'm, I don't know how people know who's gone into, some of you YouTubers, so if you know this and you, and you feel happy to, to uh, oh, you're at work, have oh, fun. I'm sorry, I, I don't have that problem, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I work 24 seven in the sense that uh, I have to do all the family stuff. Everything is expected that I do, including budgeting and financing and groceries and laundry and cleaning and all of that stuff. I'm not saying I do a great job at it. I'm just saying that it's on my job list. So you don't really feel like you do get to leave work. But other than that, I also get to do this stuff. Um, so I really shouldn't complain. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. If any of you know, so I predominantly focus on YouTube, although I use Restream to... Um, go into like to to go to other like I think mixer Mi no uh, it's Facebook and Twitter I have it set up to go to but anyway I besides people talking in chat I have not figured out and I could just be stupid um, I have not figured out how to um, see who pops into the stream and just now I tried looking at the participants in YouTube on the actual stream they didn't show me anybody so I don't know how to do it restream the chat uh, feature does not have anything either that shows it, so I don't know if there's something else you guys do. I just figured out how to do a poll, so I believe up on the top right of the stream, you should see a little uh, a little icon, information icon, and it should tell you a would you rather question to kind of test to make sure I know how, what I was doing. All right, so I think I had, what is that, like three? Mm. 
not. <laughs> I'll have to, again, I was just struggling this morning to figure it out. So, sorry, I'm, I'm taking over the screen here for a second. Um, to try to find a part in the in the build that I can just double check my work before I waste time. Okay, so that's four. Now that looks right. And then it's five. Yep, and then these bend. Okay. Uh, so the pole thing, I I'll have to kind of uh, double check how I did it, but it's when you're setting up all of your stream information on YouTube and it's got a section for cards, you know, like a recommended um, playlists or if you have like an outside link you want to use. And that's where you set it up and you just create the pole. But again, I'm testing it because I'm not really sure if I did it right. So once I get the base here, I'll be able to confirm the dimensions that I did. So, Brian, I know you in real life if you're still watching, so I know where you work. But uh, are you a graphic designer, Mr. McFunkers? Because I know you do some of that stuff. Is that what you get to do for a living? If you're willing to disclose that. I don't know if you are. Oh, all right. So you can't see a list of viewers. I'm wondering how... Uh, I mean, Aaron seems to be able to welcome everybody as soon as they join. But maybe that's just because they're commenting. That could, that could be it. Okay, so then I think this is... I just want to make sure I get my dimensions right. Yeah, it's too slanted back. Okay. <laughs> I think you can stream. You just struggle with your internet connection, Grey Feach. Right? Last time you tried to stream, that was the problem. Oh, cool. Graphic design. You lucky SOB. I'm very um, jealous, but also in a very happy for you type of way. Is, is there a word for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm envious, but in a I don't begrudge you. I'm happy for you, but I'm envious. Um, at just being able to get paid to do something creative in my mind is like hitting the gold mine. Oh, you did their avatars. They're wonderful. I kind of tried to recreate that with mine as well if it wasn't uh, already obvious it was um, but I just used some filters on a, on a actual photo instead of drawing it out or anything like that yeah okay so I think I think it's like on the the next level up is when I actually change the top uh, sorry again, this is uh, not really an exact um, thing for me. I have to try to remember what the heck I did. Hey, raccoon. I fixed my server. Yay. Happy days, happy days. Fix my server, makes me happy. So, Mr. McFonkers, uh, have you, since you do graphic design, have you done anything like largely commercial or anything that we may have recognized besides obviously those awesome avatars you just mentioned? Ooh, you're doing it too, Great Beach. That's exciting. Okay, let me just. We just check the record here, see where I was in the deck. Okay, so it's up three and then out. Okay. Okay. And then I 
think I just did straight here to get it to stick out a bit. Okay, and then I just changed these to blocks except for that one. I let I left that one alone. Oh, these already look like blocks. Hmm, okay. It's just these I guess you have to worry about. I think eventually I did remove all of the uh, ceilings because they're not necessary once you get the foundation snapped in. These did not place right. I don't know if they're necessary, but if I'm going to be removing the ceiling, I think I will with the. Let's see. Can I go this way? Nope. A treasure hunt? Ooh, and that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it doesn't even look like I need it. Alright then, cool. Alright, so let's just double check these dimensions, everybody. Okay, so you can see where the motorboat is uh, because it's the section without the ceilings and the part with the engine is the one with the ceiling in it. So that's uh, three by three for the motorboat. But total, it's five foundations wide. And one, two, three, four, Four out the back, one, two, three, four out the front. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it there for anyone who wanna look at it. And then the walls, I believe, go three up. That's super cool. I'm really uh, happy for you. So, let me ask then if you do oh that was um my husband was nice for the competition raccoon my husband was nice and uh came onto the server and and um let me kill him a bunch of times nope that's still not placing right and yeah i got to use his his uh character then for all those uh taxidermies that i did For Pete's sake. I'm not going to let this get the better of me. Oh, I will get you. You think you've won foundation, but you have not. Wait a second, does it always stick out? Oh yeah, okay, no, I'm just being an idiot, I guess. No, it doesn't. Look, it's supposed to go up. What do I have wrong there? Maybe it was snapping to that triangle? Yep, I think it was snapping to the triangle. Okay, now I'll just do this foundation first. Come on. Really? You want to give me this much of a problem? I don't even think I need you. <laughs> Alright, let me just try looking from underneath to see if I can get it to work. Wow, you're going to be so fussy. Okay, let me try the foundation and then try this. Well, I don't think I need you, so I'm going to ignore you. I was going to just see maybe if I needed to use that snap point, but it's not important, so we'll just skip it. Woo! You did something that got onto TV? An ESPN? That's super... <laughs> that 
That's super cool. Uh, that's awesome. I totally want to see it. I don't know if you have like um, a place that you that's public that you put your work. I myself wanted to be an animator. Wanted to work for Disney since I was little. Uh, the schooling thing didn't work out um, at, at first. Life, life happens. Um, and when I tried to get back on track, I ended up taking an online course for animation at animationmentor.com, which I really love this school. But again, life happened. Again, messed me up. And so, oh wait, you know what? I don't, this is too high. I was not counting the foundation. The foundation is the third, yep. And um, so I have, uh, I've dabbled a bit in doing computer animation, which I really enjoyed. I think I actually liked, <laughs> now that I think about it, I think I would probably prefer modeling instead. The animation was good, but it was hard. I loved the storytelling. So maybe even being a storyboard artist or a modeler, because we had to create like our own sets for certain things, and I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Even though it didn't really focus on modeling, we just kind of did a little bit. Um, but that's when I decided to get married and move to Ireland, so, you know. Changed my life again. Pretty sure. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure the back I have too. Oh, thanks, Raccoon. You take care. No, I know you're not a computer animator. I know you do different things, like you're actually creating images. I understand that. I'm just saying in, um, that was my creative thing that I was trying to do. Yes, okay. There is a wall there. I don't know if I need this yet, so I'm just going to get rid of it and come back to it if I need it. So my question to you, Mr. Uh, Mr. McBonker, McBonkers is what programs do you use in your profession? <laughs> it's still pretty cool. I'm assuming the pipeline for that stuff has to go fast. Or do you get a lot of time to work on, on stuff? And when you do the storyboarding, do you come up with the ideas or is that just more like the copywriters? Do you get a say in that in that creative aspect of it, or you just have to do what they tell you? Adobe, okay. That is that like the industry standard then? Double check if I did this half or full. Yeah, it looks half. Yeah, no, Raccoon, um, you guys have been doing a lot of building on here, haven't you? I know 
warrior has one and you have one new ones I could definitely do that um, I actually don't have I have I have a, one idea maybe to do for the competition so I might still do that but it doesn't there's always time there's always time to show off other people's work so we can make it happen I just have to remember how I did the back here. These were like the tricky bits. The rest of it I can kind of figure out. Okay, so I think it went... Alright, so I went up three and then I used the ramp to come out. Yeah, and I think I just had those walls as connectors. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's go the same direction. No? You don't want to go the same direction? Well, alright then. Oh. Oh my goodness. Stop doing that. <laughs> Which button was the ceiling? Now the one thing too though about this boat, um, the this back it juts out another another section, and the only thing is you can't actually place anything in the second half. Like it lets me build it and, and enclose it, but it it doesn't let me actually do anything after that. So I mean I could probably just do this with um triangle pieces. I'll just leave it like that. I don't think it really matters. Sorry if I uh, ignore the the chat sometimes, guys. I don't mean to. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. It's always nice to have an easy week. Hey, Johnny! Johnny Keys! It's Johnny Keys. I don't know why, but I, I thoroughly, if you haven't picked up, I thoroughly enjoy saying your name. Have ever since I met you. Something about that. Like it should be a stage name, Johnny. Johnny Keys. Oh, thank you. I was ridiculously excited. Probably too excited. And my ha my family just happened to be visiting. It's not like I said, guys, I'm in a competition for building in this YouTube stuff. Because they still don't really understand what I'm doing. My sister's kind of like, oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> my mom's like, I don't know what you do all day. I don't understand it. You spend too much time on the on the internets. <laughs> but they just happened to be there. So I was like, guys, guys, this is a big deal. And then they watched the preview with me. Well, big deal to me is what I meant. And um, they watched the preview with me. So it was fun because it was like I couldn't even talk. I originally had planned to, if anyone was online that I normally play with, to kind of just go into a party together, especially Raccoon and the Warrior, because they had entries as well to kind of all watch together. But um, my family was here and I was visiting, so that didn't happen, but I just, I was so silly. I think my husband had come home and he was like trying to talk to me, and I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't talk right now. Competition's on. <laughs> I like but don't like these triangle pieces, I will just say. The only thing I don't like about them is that 
at least for me, they're very finicky and difficult to play sometimes. They like to jump all over these snap points and trying to cycle them through doesn't always work. Yeah, it was, it was. I, I got like congratulations and like it, it definitely meant more to me that they saw what was going on, especially because I kept saying, guys, there's over a hundred people watching the stream. It's, it's big. <laughs> there's so many people watching this. They can kind of understand, at least they can see a little bit more because, you know, especially now that we're in the age of YouTubers being a possible profession, the older generation really just does not, they don't understand it. It's like, how could that possibly end up being a job? Like, you know what? We don't know either, but we're really thrilled to have it. We're just obsessed with games, I guess. And so there you go. Oh, so in my poll is a would you rather question. I think these are fun, especially when uh, I've kind of run out of things to talk to people, not talk to people about, but ideas. And um, the would you rathers, uh, I think it's, would you rather live 500 years in the future or live 500 years in the past? So like 500 years in the past, it's be around like when Magellan first circled the globe. So... I mean, the romantic side of me is like, oh, yes, uh, there's all the cool way people dress. But on the other side of things, I think I'm just going to go for the future. Unless the future means the world exploded or the sun exploded or we're all dead, then, of course, I'll just go in the old times. Okay, give me one second to just look at the video again. Let's count where I started the stairs. Back four. Okay. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be the start of the stairs. And I'm going to have to get the sloped ceiling. I'm mean, sloped. Uh, Wooden walls. I'll need you later. Break these bad boys. So Aaron was announcing that he's going to be doing another competition again, which I'm super excited about. Because, um... I've been trying to do it, but I, I'm doing a different one. I'm doing more like we're just doing quick competitions to kind of have fun and challenge each other on. And I think Aaron is, um, you know, he's, he's it's like a bigger deal. Plus, he's got like the bigger audience. So um, it's really awesome that he's doing it because he's talking about a... Um, what, are they, what did he call it? Like epic? So like maybe a week long build and um, doing something from a movie. So I'm thinking like maybe there's some Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or stuff. Why do you think people get burned out? Oh, he... Wait competitions so what happened because i don't know the history i'm i'm still fairly new to this whole youtube I, like i really didn't even realize that there were all these wonderful builders out there on youtube until i gave up on uh, official and i could actually build without too many consequences so you have more knowledge there than i do and let me read your message then okay so your your future as well bonkers because you have life expectancy you're right I'd pro I'd be dead uh, <laughs> I'd be dead already <laughs> and I probably would have died in childbirth uh, let's see and Johnny you are the past you love technology with passion and I actively want the zombie apocalypse to happen <laughs> that's funny funny side comment I would love to live in a primitive world hopefully I can live primitively one day in the north of Canada <laughs> <laughs> You're such a ham, it's funny. A primitive world, huh? So like a survivalist? You want to get out there in the snow and only see other humans? 
you know, when they, when they decide to show up. Okay. Two, three. It's like the train. I think there was one TV show where, like, his he was all excited because, like, he lived by himself and his, his mother was coming to visit. But he had to, like, plow plow the, the train. It, was, it must have been in Canada or Alaska. It was really, really snowy. Alright, so Aaron, you said Aaron tried a long while ago to do a bunch of competitions and there was a lot of attention at first, but then he tried to do one like every week and it didn't take long for people to stop competing. Ah, that's why he was talking about, uh, you know, have to have people competing. Okay. I guess people got tired. Well, it does take a lot of effort. Yeah, that goes out a bit again. So um, I'm just fleshing this out. I'll throw in the windows after the fact. I just want to make sure I get the shape right. I'm glad I have this video. When you sit and try to talk to people, it's hard to have the creative mind as well. I probably would have been like lost. <laughs> All right, and then I think, all right, let me just throw some of these um, ceiling bits on. Let's try again. There we go, and I think I had, I'll get the stairs down there. How do I do that? <laughs> Pretty sure this, yeah, let me check again. Yep, okay. Okay, so we've got the stairs, pop them on. Oh no, you built that house and then it got cancelled? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so Johnny said, yeah, you don't like the materialistic world we live in today all that much. I love technology and stuff, but I don't want to be surrounded by people driven by what they own instead of who they're with. Oh, you are quite an intellectual, Johnny Keys. Um, I bet you're great at like quizzes and uh, like pub quizzes. You'd be good to have on your team. And apparently you'd be good in uh, the zombie apocalypse. I was talking about that with my friends. Like, what would you be, uh, you know, what would you bring to the zombie apocalypse? And first off, I think I'm not very much of a survivalist. I'm not. But I can be a cheerleader slash counselor slash, I don't know, a spiritual person, if that's even important, you know. So, like, I think it would be important later on to, like, recreate society. But for the most part, I would just be dead weight and probably be fed to the zombies. You know, the... the slowest one running that might be me and my husband's skills are in technology so let's just say the grid was down electricity was down i don't know if he'd be good either <laughs> okay i'm glad you're back <laughs> we're talking now about the, z the zombie apocalypse because apparently that is, uh, John, Johnny Keys cannot wait for that to happen. And he, uh, he preps for it as a hobby, which I think is awesome. And we were talking about what kind of role would you bring either to survive the apocalypse or to bring, a part, bring about the new, uh, new civilization. And I was saying I, I, I would not be able to help anybody survive. I can't even cook, guys. I'm, I'm terrible at cooking. I could bake, but I don't think you're really going to be making cupcakes in the zombie apocalypse. Something tells me that's uh, not going to be important. Alright, so I think I had double doors there, so let me just do some walls. Now, you totally could do walls backwards here. That would look good as well. But I, d I did not do that. I just painted them. Medical knowledge.
much any of that. Oh, see? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, creative mind. I'm terrible at math. Oh, that's stone. Um, oh, my husband's good at math, so he, he might be able to, if that's important, he might be able to figure out some engineering stuff. My, see, my brother's an engineer. Um, my other brother-in-law is a contractor. He's super important, good with his hands. Um, but me? No, I'm just more like, I don't know, make people happy? Can you entertain them, sing songs at the campfire with the guitar someone strung together? That wasn't me, because I wouldn't have figured it out. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so you would, you'd be able to shoot the zombies well. I mean, like, as long as you have ammunition. Oh, these doors, these doors bother me. This is another thing about the Espos doors. So, you know how I was having trouble with the, the sloped wood stair sideways? It just wasn't snapping right for me? Yeah, it let me to just continue until I got it right. These doors... No, you have to pick them up each time because it won't let you snap again. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know why that is. Although I, I did mess around with them to try to get them to... Oh, I think that's right. Um, oh, I'm going to try it one more time, but I don't think there should be gaps. There we go. And... I was able to use them to do that floating trick. I forget who it was that has that video up on it. I think I just did regular doors here. Yes, well, I, I can learn. Yes, I would definitely be able to learn. It's not like I can't. I mean, I know how to boil water and cook some things. I'm just saying I'm not the greatest cook. Um, and I did try to descale a fish once. And let's just say uh, it, it wasn't a pretty sight. Those things are hard. And I did have really dull knives in my defense. They were crap knives. So I think maybe that doesn't really count. So I could learn. I'm not afraid. Uh, I'm afraid of knives. <laughs> knives cutting the skin, but I'm not afraid of the gore and the blood. That I'm fine with. I don't know what it is. I get faint faint from heights and uh, knives. Uh, the, that's, see, that's the other bad thing about me in a zombie apocalypse. Um, I would just freak out. I don't know. I think I would just be running scared. Uh, if you want to hear something funny about me, I'm, I actually have, uh, I can't watch scary movies because I have, I don't know if it's just the overactive imagination type thing, but <laughs> I can't watch scary movies uh, and especially any type of thing that has to do with like poltergeists or demons or um, I actually have a little bit of a fear of aliens. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm afraid if I watch something like one of those real reality TV shows about aliens, uh, you know, oh, I, I want to watch them because I'm fascinated. I'm like, oh, look at that. That's amazing. Well, you know, like crop circles, that kind of crap. But then when it's time to go to bed, I'll be like, I can't close my eyes because I just I'm afraid I'll wake up and there'll be aliens standing over my bed. <laughs> look, who's afraid of that stuff? I'm like a grown a woman. Do you know what I mean? Why am I? Why am I having that <laughs> irrational fear? I don't know. I don't know. It's just nonsense. But I do. You're good at throwing knives. Well, that's good. I'm not af Look, I'm not afraid necessarily of knives. It, that's not what I mean. It's more like, you know when someone's afraid of heights? And, you know, it's like you get... They get weak at the knees, dizzy type thing? That That's what I'm talking about. I get, like, I'm gonna pass out like when I have to give blood I, I have to look away but once the needles in the skin I can stare at it it's just the you know or those surgery shows that are so fascinating oh man I get excited anytime there's an opportunity to see an x-ray or I was in a pretty bad car accident once um, I fell asleep at the wheel because I was a stupid teenager and I decided do I still have stairs or get rid of them no uh, I tried to drive being awake for more than 24 hours and I was so close to home, like, I don't know, 20 minutes from home after dropping off a friend, which, thank God, I did not hurt anyone else. And I happened to close my eyes when the road turned. So the road turned and I did not. And I took out a small telephone pole and then a tree and then flew up the guardrail and into a small ravine. Go me! 
<laughs> and, and so so that was my adventure and uh I, I was kind of actually sad like the um the rescue people that had, had to use the jaws of life the car was on its side i was bleeding very badly from my head head wound and when they got me out of the car they actually thought like i, ha I got an air uh, a helicopter i got a helicopter uh, evac lift from uh you know, to the hospital because of a head wound, and the initial reports was that they thought I might be brain dead. I mean, I was told I was not that bad. I, I was a lot tougher than anticipated. I mean, I didn't even break a bone. But uh, I mean, not to be too gross. So if anybody's watching and this grosses you out, apologies in advance. But like both my uh, the layer of skin and my muscles, so straight down to the bone on my forehead. If you ever noticed that dent in my head, was completely almost like scalped. It was like up because I had hit, I didn't have a steering wheel in my car and I hit it with my skull and it split it and just came right off. So anyway, uh, that had to be stitched back on, but I was so mad when they didn't actually, I wish they had taken pictures or I had seen it, but any other time I've had to like get uh, reports done or, t or to look, it, it's really exciting like inside inside the body but I just can't handle the skin the skin being cut is the thing that gets me oh I'm just catching up here on my little story so what you guys say oh yeah cuz I mean in America lots of people can own guns but I know in Ireland you actually have to, you have to get a gun permit of course but then you have to actually keep it at the police or the Garda station unless you have a permit to carry it but like even the Garda most of the Garda don't have guns in Ireland so I don't know if it's the same in Australia and England <laughs> we shall rule the UK and Australia yes <laughs> I can see Later on, later civilizations after the zombie apocalypse and you guys have rebuilt statues will be erected in your honor with you guys holding your guns and your knives. <laughs> you only just got your license and you lost it the first week in a car accident? Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? For, long, for the longest time, I was always getting the hand-me-downs uh, for cars, which was good. But I've had to go through all the things. And I actually had brakes go out at me, uh, out on me once while I was driving. I had this huge crush, crush on this boy at the time. And I was being really stupid. I decided that I would go, like, because I couldn't tell him. But I thought I would just go leave him a little friendly note at his house, which is not, you know, psycho or crazy when you're in high school, whatever. Um, I was a stupid high school girl. We didn't know. But anyway, it was a rainy day, and instead of going into town, I decided I would s quickly just drop by his house, leave a little note on his car, and uh, so I was taking a back road, and which was lucky because that means there was less traffic, but it was raining. Now, m mind you, the brake lights had been on in the car, and I had asked my mom, this is after my dad passed away, so I just had my mom to reference. And I was like, Mom, uh, what does that mean? And she's like, oh, I don't know. Go get it checked out. But her nonchalant attitude <laughs> made me think that it was something I didn't have to rush to do. Like, there was no urgency in her voice. <laughs> so I did not I, I did not think that that was a big deal. I think the cannons are going to go there. So um, I did not rush to get the brakes fixed. And, uh, yeah, they gave out. No, I think I've got them wrong. They gave out while I was driving on this rainy road, and there was a car stopped in front of me, and um, I had to, like, pull off the road into, like, this a side ditch. But the cop yelled at me when he realized I had no brake fluid. It was very scary. I'm glad you're okay. Totaling your car is a pretty serious deal. I forget where the railings were out there. I'll have to double. Ooh! I knew I was supposed to do that. BB guns are banned in Australia. Oh, it's a, probably not a terrible thing. People are getting, kids are getting shot and killed over stupid toy guns and stuff here. Oh, no, that's good. I don't even think I did that with mine. Oh, you know what? I think I, think I have the plank here. Let me just double check. 
Yes, I have the I have the plank here. Let me take this off. Okay, a catwalk on the catwalk. Let's see, was that to me or was that to... Did you not think a big flashing light that isn't normal there? <laughs> yes. I know. It's very funny in retrospect, right? But I told you. Well, I, I went to my mom and her attitude made me think that it wasn't a big deal. Like, it was like a car maintenance, which still is. I mean, if your car engine light goes on, or, or you still want to get that checked. But I was an idiot. Okay, I was an idiot. I did not know. I mean, you're, you're talking to the girl who, uh, one one day it was after school. I was I was running a, a club meeting and I had forgotten my notes, and so I decided uh, I had to go get them. And I raced home, and of course I was speeding in my development. And a cop car pulled me over, and when he pulled me over, it was the first time. I was so scared, and all I could think was, Oh my gosh, his eyes are bluer than the sky. <laughs> stared at this police officer and I barely heard what he was telling me he gave me a court date and um and and I was so nervous and I was a little annoyed and my my parents were supposed to show up there to you know to help me out because I was like I don't know what I'm doing you've got to come blah 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 blah. and um I'm just checking something out here yes okay no that's just the catwalks okay so I was like, uh, you, you got to come. I don't know what I'm doing. And so they said, okay. But there was a, a mix-up where they had moved. I guess they recently had moved the police station. So anyway, I show up at the court, right? My parents went to the old place instead of the correct place. And so uh, they weren't there, and I was by myself. But I got called up, and the police officer did not show. Now, if you don't know that in the States, I don't know if it's the same elsewhere, but if you get go to court for a ticket and the police don't show, you can plead not guilty and the police officer is not there and therefore, you know, to, to contradict it and you can get off, you know, for the ticket. And it's like common knowledge. In fact, police officers do it because they feel like they want to give you a break. So obviously this cop was just trying to be nice and he didn't show up on purpose. But I didn't know. And I'm, I'm like honest to a fault. So... Uh, the judge who was intimidating calls me up. I'm all annoyed and pissed off because my parents aren't there and really freaked out. And uh, he says, uh, how do you plead? And I was like, guilty? <laughs> and he like, did a double take and looked at me. And he was like, are you sure? But the way he, the way he did it was almost like, uh, that doesn't, like, you better be telling me the truth or something. I don't know. I, I totally misunderstood it. And I thought, like, I didn't realize that he was, thought I was being silly f as well. And anyway, so long story short, I could have totally, oh, you know what? I did do something wrong here. I think I got to bring that up one more. Um, I could have uh, gotten off, but I didn't. And I was like, yeah, I was speeding. I'm guilty. So, no. And of course, when I saw my family and I told them and I was super angry, that they weren't there and I was like you weren't there and the cop wasn't even there <laughs> my stepdad at the time was like wait what <laughs> I was like yeah and I had to pay this fine <laughs> he's just like if the cop doesn't show you can plead not guilty and I'm thinking well it would have been nice if someone told me the rules oh god I was so young so young and stupid Ah, uh, okay, you know what? I think this wall's too high. This makes sense. Yes, except for there. I tell you, though, there was a time during my rebellious stage where I would speed a lot. I got a lot of speeding tickets and almost lost my license because of it. I had to go and, like, take a course and, um... I just remember the one of those tickets, it was a female officer. <gasps> she was so mean. She was so mean to me. I mean, I, I don't I don't flirt, I'm just nice, you know? I'm just pleasant and nice and uh, respectful. And for some reason, like, I think they have to work harder to get respect. She was just like so mean. It threw me off how mean she was. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the laughing stock of everybody once they found out the cop didn't show up and I still pleaded guilty and paid the fine. I still get teased for that. I still get teased for it. <laughs> ah, such is life. I really don't know if I did if I'm doing these ceilings exactly the same, but I don't think it really matters. You just uh, you just make a ceiling, all right? <laughs> You just cover the holes. It's the important thing. Cover the holes up. <laughs> there are some cops that are nice, but I don't know. I think maybe it's because we've got stupid guns here. Now, I'm not against guns. I just don't like all the crap that's going on in America with them. So it's a struggle for me. Um, I'm pretty sure I have walls in here. Wait a second, I'm doing something else wrong. Yep, okay. My uncle actually owns a, um... Hold on. He owns a gun range out in, uh, California. What did I do different there? How did I do that? Sorry, give me give me a second to concentrate. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. I know that it comes out. Does it, do I just have it coming up one more? Hmm. Where's the snap point there? Okay, you know what? It's got to be there because the ceiling is there. Nope. Try again. There you go. Whew! I did it. I did it. I did it. I figured it out. That is until I look again and realize I did not. But, you know, hey, I'm going with it right now. Nope. So my thing is, though... Does that look right? Yeah, no, it's two. Yeah, that's just cat... No, that goes backwards a bit. Okay, you know what? I think I did the wall. I think I actually have the triangles. Oh, are you leaving grapes? Sorry. I'm trying to focus on here. Oh, I'm excited, grape. I'm excited to see that. Congratulations on the special. All right, I have to just pull this apart for a second to see where I'm missing the snap points. It's probably because I didn't bring these triangles back. So I just want to make sure. I mean, I just had that whole thing, just make a ceiling. I was wrong. <laughs> I obviously did something right <laughs> with these triangles. I have to try to figure out again. This is probably where I got it from. It's just flat up straight out. Oh, hey, Ark Survival Guide. Sorry, I didn't realize. That's that's awesome. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I was quite excited about the 200. It, it, it was, I, I wanted to do like a whole message and everything, but uh, I don't know. I was worried that I would just look stupid, but <laughs> I was really excited, actually. It was big for me. Um. Thank you. And you're going to be leaving soon, too. All right. So when you have to go, because you're premiere, I hope it goes well. What are you premiering, Ark Survival Guide? I have to figure out how 
the heck I did this. I probably... I feel like it has something to do with those triangles. Let me let me see if I can figure it out. No. Alright, well that obviously is because of the walls that that is halfway out. There's no way I would have gotten that straight. That can't be the answer. Oh, you know what? It's probably this then. Let's try this. Yeah, okay. That's it. My husband's actually really, like, against guns himself. Uh, it, he was one of the things he was really freaked out about coming over here and our son. His schools. And there was actually, like, a... And in my hometown, there was actually a scare of, of a student that was going to, you know, shoot up the school that hit home. All right, I'm just going to read some of your stuff here. I'm really behind on that. Sorry, guys. Okay, so it's a very controversial belief for the UK, but I'm not against guns in the UK. I don't think we should be allowed guns like the US in the UK, but for countries that have always had them in. Society, I think their needs, their need in a way of guns amnesty in the U.S. would cause tons of issues as it did in Australia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I have noticed that, like, I've been watching Aaron, and Aaron's big, and he's he's got a, wonder, a lot of wonderful builds, but also I just noticed how rapidly he gains subscribers, and I do think there's something to that with the larger you are, the, the faster you, you do gain, so hopefully it will snowball. Oh, you're furnishing your new main base? Oh, I'm going to want to check that out. I'm sorry that we're streaming at the same time. Yeah, that that's exciting. I want to see what you do. Back to this gun issue. You said, and uh, Johnny Keys goes, and there would be lots of issues if guns were legal here, but if, they were, if there were a way to ensure guns could only be used on certain piece of land or by a certain person in the UK, I think it would be okay. Thanks, Ark Survival Guide. I don't know if I can sometimes. Uh, I really feel out of sorts. <laughs> I'm really lost sometimes trying to build. Um, it's weird for some reason that this, this facing the other direction has actually pushed it out. So I'm going to see if turning this around will fix it. So yeah, I'm not sure. The, the gun issue is one of those debates that is a very tough thing and it's, it's very difficult. I think ultimately nobody really wants people hurt and that's kind of the main issue is that there's a lot of gun violence in my country. Um, but you're right, there, there's there's a whole heck of a lot of people that want them. And actually, you know what? My step family, I found out when I came back to the States, uh, when I immigrated back, that they're actually, they're like preppers. I don't know if you're a prepper, but like an end time prepper. I don't know if it's the zombie apocalypse or more just thinking that, you know, the infrastructure of the world is going to collapse at some point. And, uh, you know, everybody's going to be running around trying to figure things out. Um, but I didn't realize about my family, but they're preppers. So I think that's interesting. Oh, okay. It's one of the, I have yet to do one of those premiere videos. Um, I always thought, I always thought they were really cool. It's great that you're doing that. Does that work out well for you? You got a lot of people hanging out and waiting. Hey, dirty. Oh, no, yeah. A gun, unless it's... It's only going to kill people when it's in the hands of people. That's for sure. That is definitely for sure. I was only saying, um... I hate the fact that people will go and shoot up a school. Like, our sis that's a society thing. That's not necessarily a gun thing. But, you know, it's difficult. Because the first thing people want to do is... is just ban the weapon but it doesn't mean that the violence still won't be there just be there in different ways I'm sure 
Well, I think I've managed to recreate it. I don't know how the heck I did it. I got a little lost there, but I managed to figure it out. Woohoo! Celebration! <laughs> Let me just make sure that it didn't go up too. No, it's just one. Okay. Yeah, I really, I, I like that premiere uh, thing. If I can manage to get another um, how-to video done, like nicely edited, it just takes so much time. Um, maybe I'll try it next time. I think I was just nervous too from being so small that maybe, you know, I wouldn't really have anybody show up for the premiere. <laughs> I don't know. There's always new things to learn with doing YouTube. Learning so many different skill sets. <laughs> oh, thanks for the pirate yar. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Oh, there is a, a YouTuber called ICS Gaming, and uh, I recently met him through Hinter Regions, and I think he's now in Captain Fat Dogs and Friends Discord. So we started talking because he does, because I'm a bit of a, a drama goofball, and um, he he does videos using. He's on a PC modded uh, server, his own server, and um, he does. He takes uh, arc characters and the mods, and he turns them into like little skits and stuff. So. I just did a voice thing for him. I don't know how it's going to come out or how it's going to use it, but I'm going to start doing some of that stuff for him. Not really sure why my mind brought that up, but I did. I said it. It's out there. Yeah, it's on a motorboat. No, it's not on pillars. It's on a, on a motorboat. And um, I'm trying to recreate it from the, when I did it on, on Aaron's server. Yeah, so the, the dimensions, you start by covering up the motorboat. I start in the back right over the motor. I put a foundation as far back and in the center as I can make it. And then it's like a three by three. So you get nine foundations. Uh, and then it's five wide, right? So I go one foundation out on each side. And then I think it was like four front and four back. Uh, and then I just put the curves onto it. So, but I'll, I'll have it. Um, I might redo it as like a... Um, gotta do the things down here oh and the catwalks let me pick them up i might do i might like try to do it as a speed build like download it maybe and do a speed build all right archie said if you want a fun idea one of my favorite build vi videos i ever saw was someone who made a full replica of the flying dutchman on pirates of the caribbean on a plus so so no they didn't i want to see that that sounds amazing. Come on, catwalks. Nope, but you're going to be like that. I'll just come back to you. You are non-essential right now. That's amazing. That just reminds me of, like, Satyrus' stuff. It's so cool. Oop, those snap points are different. I'm going to change these. Yes, I no, there's no fence foundations here. This is all just uh, triangle work. Um, if you could, I don't know, Ark. Um, I don't know if you have a Discord. We should we should definitely connect with uh, Facebook or Discord because um, I would love to 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 see that. I don't know if there's a way you can get me a link to that video uh, maybe I should just look it up or maybe you've got the guy's name I am going to be using friends foundations though to put pillars down on that okay let's see here I got the catwalks on both sides all right I think I have the doors nope okay I'm going to put in the doors Finish this in here. So again, the only the only drawback of this is um, once you get in here to start decorating, it does not allow you um, to do anything like past this point. I don't think you can place anything past here. That's why if you saw mine, there was nothing back here on this side because it's too far away 
from the uh, the motorboat. Oh, come on. Oh, I should really turn these around. Satars, hey! How are you? I didn't even realize you popped in. Man, I really wish there was a way to see when people jo join. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess I'm I'm doing it at a time you can hang out with us. That's cool. Um. I think I just have to do now. I'm gonna do the pillars, but I think I. Uh, I'm going to try to do the mass and then get the um, the front section done. So we got the stairs. I'm going to try the hatch. I'd like to see your pirate ship journey. Go ahead and build one. Now that we've got these triangles, be n new stuff. Uh, I will check out that link, Johnny. Thank you. I just um, let, me, let me click on that now and see what pops up. I will check that out in a bit. There. Okay, I want to lose my, my oh, door. Okay, let's get in the door. This is obnoxious of me. The phone was ringing and I didn't want to answer it. <laughs> it's not obnoxious, right? I'm working. <laughs> Nobody in my family thinks this is work. I guess technically it's not. It is to me, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the catwalks are supposed to be... Also one of them to, like, go sideways. I don't know if they came out further or not. Oh, there you go. Come on, do it, do it. Nope. Why are you not working for me, catwalks? They're just a flourish, really. There's like nothing um, too exciting. And if they're slightly different than the ones, like if the other ones actually went out a little bit more, like this. Oh, whatever, I can't even show, it's fine. It's really, I guess that's like a personal preference. Okay, so pretty sure I had the mast. Uh, I think it was like one away from the door or two away from the door. Let me double check. Yeah, all right, so it's two out from the door. So that's the door. Here is the mast. And then I just brought it all the way to the max. And there we go. Then I had another one, I think, right next to it. And I just brought it almost as far. Let's see how far up did that one go. I'll get back to that just to make sure. All right, trapdoors. These were fun because I just basically interlocked them. The only thing is trying to get the doors to face the same way was difficult. Oh, so 
There we go. Let's see, did I get it in the first try? I did! Huzzah! First try. First time, every time. And this is... Now we get inside. Let's open this one. First. And we get some stairs. But Satars, you just have, uh, you're able to do really well with like work life balance. That was one of the things, too, for me. Um, I miss some of the adventure of official, but it's that grind, the time, the time grind, being in, as well as not having to constantly stress. Like when you wake up in the morning, it got to the point where I just felt like I had to log on to ARC, even if I there were days I didn't even want to, but I had to because there were animals that were going to die. Things were not going to be done. That's when I was like, yeah, I think I'm done with that. Okay, so now let's start working on the inside. Now, I'm just going to remove all these ceilings, don't need them. And I'm pretty sure I did the hatch frame here, so I'm just going to do that now, get that out of the way. Oh, that's Adobe. Where are you at? Stone, there you go. There you go. Let me just jump in. Now, so I test it. Make sure I can see where I'm going. Now those doors obviously will be down. But you should be able to see pretty well. To drive it. Double check with the doors. I'm glad you guys are talking amongst yourselves right now. <laughs> Don't feel too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good for a boat. Let's see. I'm probably already in third person. Let me just double check it. Yeah, I'm already in third person. It's too bad you couldn't. Can you zoom out and in on third person like you can on orbit camera? Probably not, no. Anyway. Okay, so it is drivable. Prove that. Uh, oh. Again, you can lower your foundations if you wanted to, and then you won't have to worry about a hatch frame. You would just kind of be right on the raft. That might be a good idea. Again, I, I just didn't think of it. Oh, you know what? Wait, why am I getting out here? I want to finish this down here. I want to get rid of these ceilings. All right, there's a lot of, f of flurry going on in this chat. What are you guys talking about? Oh my gosh, I've missed so much. Okay, so about the catwalks, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to go back and mess around with them some more, but maybe you can explain it to me another time when we come on the server, Johnny, and talk about like vertically and horizontally. I understand the, the angles, but I don't understand exactly what that means. Because <laughs> they were, all, they looked all horizontal to me, just at different snap points. And Satars, you've never, you've never actually built on a raft. That's crazy. Because I, I bet you can come up with something pretty amazing. The way that you break down models and structures, and you can recreate them the way with all the different levels that you do, you could probably do something amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's one of the fun things about discovering this world of all these amazing builders, Ark Survival, is that, like, you wouldn't have even thought about some of these things. Uh, my eyes were opened. I was so blind to it. I mean, I knew in the, in P2 
PvP that there were things that I liked doing. I, I always had a war room inside the metal box that was a little bit artistic. Went for like wood pillars and uh, double wooden walls just so it looked better. But, um, oh, that was a foundation. Let's try this again. Okay, sorry. I was just trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are talking. Oh, I think I gotta do a foundation. Yeah, uh, uh, my my um, eyes were opened and I definitely found it amazing when I realized the things I could do. Alright, come on now. There we go. And I think I need ceiling again. What day is today? I think I've lost track of time. Is today Wednesday? that foundation that was giving me problems. <laughs> she a Star Wars buff, Ark Survival? Oh, I hear you. Well, I really enjoy how you build um, Satars, because I, it's just, when I was trying to, remember I was originally doing the boat I had some of the other ideas and I just could not figure out how to to sculpt it's like sculpting it's really what you're doing hey mercy <laughs> yes you are I'm glad to see you That's awesome. I thought my husband was pretty lucky that he's big into uh, Xbox gaming that I became an Xboxer. I, I keep telling him all the time. Your wife understands when you can't come to dinner because you have to finish a game and there's no save. Because <laughs> I think most men <laughs> get like the riot act read to them when those situations occur. What do you... Your FIFA game has nothing to do with dinner. My parents are coming out here. Come here. Some parts are just so boring, I know. Oh, no, I'm gonna leave that one. Yeah, I do think gaming wives are the best. You know, the only time, okay, that it is a double standard though, I will say, because it's super great when we're understanding to you guys. Well, maybe not you, this could just be my husband. Don't get me wrong, I love him to bits and pieces. I'm not husband bashing, I'm just speaking truth. <laughs> okay, I'm just speaking truth. Uh, but like, if the shoe's on the other foot, like during the, um, when I won and I got all excited and I was talking to people on Facebook about it and uh, a son had a dirty diaper and he was really stressed out about having to change it and he was getting really annoyed at me because there I was like FaceTiming some friends like Raccoon and and just talking about it, getting all excited, and he was just like, grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> so I was like, whatever. <laughs> what ifs? <laughs> oh my goodness. I do have to say, my husband and I, we played ARC together. It was one of the things that we, um, it was like how we spent time together if we couldn't go on dates because we were trying to emigrate and we were broke and it was a crazy situation. Oh, that's a story for another day. 
So, um, we were trying to, uh, like that was how we would legit spend time together. And it was, it was great because he would do his thing that he was really good at and I would do my thing. But then, um, the minute we tried to grind together and he would kill me, or he, cause he just took crazy risks. Like, you know, uh, not put meat on the bird before you, you take him out and then starve him to death and just stupid, stupid things. And I was always like, I'm not a risk taker. So, and I'd be like, why don't you just do this? And he'd be like, gosh, stop telling me what to do. <laughs> you know, he didn't sound like that. He's not a child. Um, but yeah, that was the one thing. It was hard for us to play together. It's the same thing I think with board games too. We become very competitive. Each I'm not a competitive person. Um, I actually just enjoy playing the game more than anything else. Uh, but he is legit competitive person. He wants to win all the time. The point is to win with him. Like you must win. So uh, whenever we play the game, like he'll just get really, I don't know, crazy. Oof. <laughs> One thing I'm bummed out about is it just been super efficient, although maybe not that efficient because, you know, if the boat goes down, it's bad, but I wish there was a way to get um, elements. I would have liked to have gotten elements. Not element, um, like the generator. The tech generator? You can't put the tech generator on the boat. Nope, that's the wrong one. Don't do that one. Come on, it's like, it's like, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, you know what? That's not even the right. Look at that. It's like not even next to the stair. Uh, this one? Why is it so far away from the stairs? That does not seem right. Whatever, we'll roll with it. <laughs> That's great. I haven't, my husband, like, he, he loves and hates Ark. Oh, this is, they're hitting like a lower uh, snap point in there. No, those are, those are foundations, right? Yeah, okay. Let's try this again. I'll, I'll do the wall first, maybe that. I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, so annoying. All right, I'm just gonna keep trying to get it. And go to this side, and you move it. There we go. I'll tell ya, Ark is weird sometimes with their snap points. Where is going that? I don't know. Must be me. I don't know why they, those things do it on boats. Whatever. Weirdo. I'd comment, but I don't know the game. Is fine. Okay, so this is the material.
Oh, see you later. Thanks for stopping in. Always love hanging with you. He's one of those builders too, by the way, that once I am... Um, it was like I I found my way somehow into Captain Fat Dog and Friends Discord. And um, it was through there that I was able... Oh, yeah, sure. Bye, Satez. It was, it was through there that I was able to, like... I I'm going to say fan stock, because that's really what I did. I mean, I don't... Hopefully I'm not a, I'm not, I don't come off as a crazy person, but I genuinely admired, um, his work. And when I saw that he was in that group, I was just like, Hey, well, could I be your friend? I think I did the same thing to Mr. McBonkers. <laughs> could I be your friend? <laughs> Can we be friends? Yeah. So. <laughs> And then uh, the first time I think I got into a party with him, uh, voice party, I forget who else was with me. See, I just blanked it all out. Um, oh no, I'm hitting the wrong one here. I was so I was so excited. My f my friends were joking with me. They're like, "Your voice is g getting higher." I was like, "Shut up! Shut up! It's Atari! Shut up!" I don't know I'm not even saying his name right. I can't say his name right. I can't get it right. But he he's nice and, and doesn't mind. At least he plays it off like he doesn't mind. All right, now I'm I'm something is not a hundred percent right here because I know that this part sticks out, but I think I had gotten rid of these walls, so I don't really know what I did wrong there. So I'm just I'm gonna keep building and then I'll have to go back and, and figure it out and fix it. I'm pretty sure that there was, oh, I think the door is here. Okay, all right, no, no, I'm, I'm still good. All right, I'm still golden. I was nervous I had gotten it messed up. Right? Can I just, can I just say an amen to that Ark Survival Guide? Because that was one of the things that was so difficult about playing on official PvP. Everybody ended up getting angry or toxic and it was all about fighting or protecting your turf. Like, even if you wanted to trust people, you couldn't because of stupid things like inciting. You know, it was just hard to find people to just to play the game decent. Because um, PvP really is kind of a lot of people. There's a, They just want to let... Uh, destroy other people because it's a lot of fun for them and I'm not saying it's not fun but at the same time uh, it wasn't my main goal I wanted to just you know tame animals and everything but I, I also found that PV, PVE the main thing that bothered me about playing PVE was the fact that um, people would just have pillars everywhere or you wouldn't that may have changed with some of the updates or how people run them but there would also be really, like, all of the beautiful trees and everything would totally be ransacked on some of the servers. So I was like, I can't. I'm going to have to play PvP. So it was a nice... I actually did a vlog that I never posted about this. It was, it's been a really nice juxtaposition to get into this world where, you know, it's about creativity... And you do get a lot of people who are playing on PvP interested in it as well. But the community itself is about support. That's like one of the best things. And if you're a builder, I'm just going to put a plug in. The, the best Discord for support as a builder that I've come across so far is um, Captain Fat Dog and Friends. The nicest bunch of builders. And they're all there. And they're very friendly. They're, it's it's just the best Discord. Yeah, I don't like how that's not matching up. Well, I'll just keep trying. Yeah, <coughs> he's amazing, and he he's super cool person too um 
totally laid back. You know? You would have thought, you know, because he's got so much clout, not just with, with like, with, he's got clout with the YouTube creators, you know, uh, because of the stuff that he has figured out and allowed us to do. You would have thought that he could have been full of himself, but no. And not only is he a really, really nice guy, but he really wants people to learn how to build and do the stuff for themselves. It's not, I don't know how to describe it. Like my first, my first wow moment with a builder was someone, it, it was like on a PVP first server, they were like the Alpha Tribe. I may have mentioned this story before. And uh, I, f I got to see the, the Alpha base and I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's just the coolest thing. And um, the guy's response was like, was like, thanks, yeah, thanks very much. And so I was like, man, I really wish I knew how to, uh, to do this, like hoping that he would teach me. And he was like, uh, nah, you know, you just don't know how to build. I don't know what he said, but he basically like scoffed me off. Is that even a word? Scoffed me off. That sounds very lewd, so I apologize for that. <laughs> but he kind of like chuckled and didn't answer me and um, <clears throat> made me feel like I just will never be as cool as him. But it wasn't about being cool. It was about being creative. You know, I think I was asking him how to do double doors, something like that. You have two sets of doors really close to each other. How'd you do that? And he just was not willing to share. And um, yeah. So I would have thought, you know, it was, it was almost like this is his intellectual property and he wasn't going to, to share that with me, even though I was in his tribe, you know. So you would have thought, thought that people like Captain Fat Dog, who came across these game-changing ideas for the rest of us, um, would have been the same. But no, he's like, yeah, this is how it's done and go ahead, be creative. I don't know. Really great. So if you are into building at all, definitely join his Discord. It's open to people. Yeah, I do have that too forward. Too close. <laughs> Grumpy Owl Gaming. I see... I feel like I've seen that name, but I don't... I'll have to find him in sub if I'm not subbed in. And, you know, fan stock him as well. Oh, it's like a generator. <coughs> you don't have Discord. Oh. Missing out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm solved. I added this after the fact. I was running into a small little issue with... um with jumping out from the boat and getting stuck in the um, getting stuck in the generator because I originally had it enclosed so I'm just trying to figure out where the heck I placed it I know it was a little it was sticking a little bit through the door oh we'll just try that we'll just go with it it's 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 a generator Whatever. I think I just ended up putting it in the same place. Oh, wow, well, that's cool. Dirty Owl Gaming. I'll definitely check him out. Um, oh, I already have one out. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. Maybe it's better. I don't know what it did. So I'm pretty sure I had a wall down here. And here. Oh, that's what it was. And here. Yeah, and I think I did have it switched. There we go. And then to block that, so originally I had a wall there, but when I jumped out, I was getting stuck. So to block it, I took the wall out and I put in a chest. So let's get that. Hmm. 
I've seen Overwatch. That's with the aliens, right? <clears throat> Unless I'm getting that wrong. My husband plays Overwatch. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, okay, we're still good. Alright, now I'll jump out and see. Am I stuck? Yep, I'm in the chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to move that back a little further. I'm probably just going to have to squish it into the generator. And that's why I'm just going to need clipping. So, you're gonna, you probably won't have a chest here if you don't have clipping. out oh I'm stuck but if I duck there you go I'm free okay see I'm, I'm popping up right underneath this wall so I'm gonna have to duck all right it's not the best thing but you know we're sticking with it okay and then I think all right I'm gonna go do more structural stuff structural stuff let me get some gas in the generator oh Oh, I do not like that. You know what? I noticed that this wall was sticking out a bit. Let me fix that. First try? Oh yeah. Get the toys. And then I'm pretty sure I did catwalks here. And got my big boxes up on the top. I'll start in the center. Okay, it's like going to overhang a bit. Makes it easier to select them. Nope, try again. It's fun. It's fun on a moving boat. It's like it's like those games where the lights are going around a circle and you have to get it to stop. Right. That's close enough. Oh. There we go. Yeah, tell us how you got your nickname. I think I 
also get a... No, I just did a table out there. <clears throat> I did do a bench. Okay, so from Overwatch, that's where you get your nickname from. I was thinking that Mercy was your actual name, but I guess it's not. Oh, I don't want to keep those. Mercy it is, then. I thought you were going to be someone from, uh, like, have mercy. <laughs> yeah, showing no mercy, right? That's what I was saying. That's what I was thinking, too. What else did I have over there? Alright, I think that was it. Okay. So over here, I had a feeding trough for the boat, right under the stairs. Feed your animals, it's important. And then over here, I did boxes. If you wanted to ghost, you could do them the other way. You'd get more, more in there. Uh, and then I believe I did a table here. <clears throat> and then I did a chair. <laughs> you know, uh, my nickname growing up, I don't know why, my friends called me Rocky. Don't know why. I mean, my actual name is Rachel, so there's probably had something to do a little bit about that, but... My sister's kids call me Ray Ray, Aunt Ray Ray, which I like. Ray Ray! Okay, and then I had a bench in the middle here. I think it was right on this line. If I can get myself to look straight. Look straight! Look straight! Okay. Let's go over this line. Okay. Oh, and I think I had a fridge here and another box. This was hard though, getting the fridge right because they really stick in the back. Oop. Oh, I did it! Woohoo! Can I get through though? Yes! Phew! Okay. Oh, I had a couple inches of, not inches, but I could have moved it back if I need to. Wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Yes, I know. Oh, plant species X turrets. I used to almost exclusively plant X turrets for defenses. But me <laughs> shush. <laughs> Punch that fridge and show one one blood for. Shush. Shut your shut shut your, shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. Do you have any tips for plant species X turrets? I use almost exclusively plant X turrets for defenses, but the line of sight issues are always a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, let me think. Actually, I want to try to do a PvP build. I've been talking about it with some of my friends because I need a brush up on PvP. It's It's been like almost a year now since any real PvP um, action. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to brush up on that. I mean, when I've used them, I use them as a skirt around the building because they really help with the guns. Um, 
and then they I would put them on towers so you've got like turret towers and then I try to put the plants on the side so for flying if people are flying near them but normally the people just want to try to blow them up at the base I've tried to do armored ones where you cover them with like a hatch frame and stuff there's a couple videos on that but I never got to see them in action so I don't really know if I built them well enough so I don't know if I have good advice just yet on that I don't know if I had one here, but I'm putting one. Okay, and then this was the brig in the back. I think I had a vessel in the middle. You could also like put fishing baskets up here. So I'll have to just do these items. Now this part is the part that is confusing. I don't remember how I had it because I know these walls were not here, but if I get rid of them, there's like a hole there. How did I do that? Or did I not? Oh, you know what? I don't know what I did. Can I get out this way? No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of them for now. I'll come back to it. Because I will figure it out. Don't know what I did, but I'll figure it out. Unless I had them sideways. What if I do a triangle ceiling there? I know it was straight, but I might make a change here. One thing I think is pretty cool, if you haven't come across it yet, Survivor Guide, uh, Survival Guide, there was, gosh, I wish I knew the name, but I will try to get you a link if you can't find it, um, on, uh, he basically made these housing places, uh, the, the setup, really, for um, Dimorphodons to add in extra stone, sorry. To add in extra defenses, right? So he'd have like a spotter, some animal that was like hard to snipe, like the um, Dodicarus up on the very top, and he'd set, you know, too aggressive with a very high range. And then he would, um... oh, that's probably what I did. Okay. And then he would um, get these Dimorphodons to follow the Dodicarus. So whenever the Dodicarus tried to attack something, even though the Dodicarus couldn't move in his rig, the Dimetrodons would go flying out, and they'd be, like, really high level and aggressive. And, um... And they would just devour. Devour. The, the enemies. I'm not getting the right. All right, I'm just gonna build the the brick area, and I'll come back to it. These ceilings, yeah, I don't need these. Ah, it's okay. I've got myself caught in a problem, so I'm trying to figure out what the heck I did to close these gaps. I think I, uh, I did a slant, but I don't remember seeing it before, and I can't get the snap over here. So it means I'm missing a snap point. What if I... 
did that one snap off of? It just snapped right to the side. Oh, oh, ah, uh, no. And of course you have to remove them, try it again. They don't just let you snap over them. Come on, come on, mama wants a new pair of pants. <laughs> I don't actually need a new pair of pants. <laughs> Come on. Mama wants something expensive and it's not like you're a slot machine. You're not going to pay me any money anyway. I just want to get to that point. And done. Come on. Go in there. I may have to fly outside to do it. Hey raccoon, I'm still working away. Yeah, see, I did not have it like that. I had it straight across. You know what? I don't know if I had wall. Oh, here I am trying to make something difficult. I didn't even have these walls sticking out. I didn't. So let me get rid of these nonsense things. Don't need them. Because I just had that sticking out. It kind of almost looks like a red. I mean, not really. Not really. But slightly like it. And then I must have had a ceiling. I could probably do the triangle. Yeah. That looks terrible. Whatever. This is the break. Who cares? I'm being picky now. I'll just do it. Really? You're only going to do it for the triangle? Okay then. Be that way. Be that way, I don't care. Really? And the snap point's not even going to be the same? Ugh, okay. I'm going to have to find a way to get a ceiling that matches up. It's got... Oh, see, those are triangles. Okay, you know what? I think I have to snap the triangle foundation to it. Uh, in order to get that lower snap point that matches with the other ones. Come on, come on. Get in there. Other direction. There you go. I think that will give me the wall at the height that I want it. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Where's the wall on the hotbar? Oh, there you go. Hey, celebrate time. Come on. It's a celebration. You saying cheering? Oh, honey child. I said chillings. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. All right, now the brig. <laughs> took me forever. Alright. Railings. Get some metal. And get our double doors. Metal. Oh, have a good... Uh, oh, thanks. You're so kind, Survival. Uh, have a good uh, premiere. I hope it goes well. Sorry, I'm missing it. Oh. Really? Why am I writing in metal?
<laughs> You're funny. Line up. All right. See you in a bit, Mercy. Um, I probably could close that up, but I actually didn't. <laughs> I just kind of chose to hit it. Or hide it. I feel like I had those lined up. So you could try to line them up if you want. Um, these would just need to be raised. But I'm just going to go with it. Can I walk under it? Yeah. And I'll just leave it for like a design feature. Slightly, slightly different. And then these gaps here. So, I just kind of covered them up. <laughs> I did. I did. I just covered them up. It's not a very strong brig. Uh, so, basically, if you get out... Well, I don't know. Can I walk through there? No? Alright. So, yeah. If that's as blocked as it needs to be. Unless you're going to be able to break down the wall, you're going to be fine. But, for aesthetics, I did cover them up. Then I put in my cages. Technically, for more room, we could. There you go. Put them back there. I'm not gonna worry about that ceiling. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Get that look like part of the sign then. Like it's hanging on that bit. Okay. That's pretty good. Some gasoline.
All right, well, my placement's a bit off. That door. Could also use a window. Uh, let's put one of those in. That's another option. Sure, I just had. I think I had them all the way down. Yeah, it's chest, so let's just do that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. To get it, it's getting dark in here. Oh, you know what? I'll just put in a light. Raccoon, are you talking about decorating? Oh, dirty, you said that about the prim, I know. I can usually walk through the lamp post, so it should be fine. And then I'm pretty sure I painted it orange. Let's put a keypad up here. It's always a pain. So I dance around a bit, go behind it. There you go. Man, it's past lunchtime. I only have about an hour left. I don't think I'm gonna get all the decorating. But you know what? I don't necessarily think because some of that decorating is like you, you obviously see the colors that I used. It's really more just about what I did to build it. I got stuck. Ooh, do not stand on, do not stand on one of these when you are opening it. Glitches you in. Am I free now? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to ghost out of it. Crazy. Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? 
I have to do, I have to show you how I did the sloped uh, thing at the front, which is really Captain Fat Dog's tilted structure. So this is how that goes down. Let me get the other side. Sloped. Now, obviously, I would have made it longer, but um, they don't, like, I couldn't. I hit the, the limit for the length of the boat, or, you know, away from it. So I only really got, like, one or two pillars out. But it was enough. It was enough to look cool. Okay, so for any of you that still haven't learned about how to do tilted structures, tilted structures is something that Captain Fat Dog discovered. It's, I don't think it's really supposed to be how the game works, so they'll probably patch it at some point because we can't have anything nice. But anyway, <laughs> it has to do with the uh, fence foundations and how fence foundations are normally flush with the ground, um, except for sometimes when you get them to snap on pillars or on sloped uh, ceilings or roofs. And once you've got the fence foundation going in a funny way, see, see how it's not flush and just goes with the slope there? Uh, once you get that, you can put the pillar, wait, do I have this going the right direction? No, I don't have it going the right direction. Silly. Alright, so how did I... Where? Come on. Come on. Gosh. Alright, this is going to drive me nuts now, isn't it? I was gonna have to keep going. Till I get what I'm looking for. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of you and see if that helps. Come on, you. No. Come on. I should be able to get this to work. It works back there. Alright, those triangle structures are really messing with it. So, do I risk getting rid of the triangle? I do. Let's just try it now. Okay, I'm gonna try it and risk getting rid of this one. If I can fix that. Okay. There we go, my goodness. And of course, that one just snaps right in. Whatever. <laughs> Let me fix the hole in my boat before I get back to this. Whatever, you silly foundations. ceilings. I'm going to put the wall back up. Oh my. 
out there. Oh, triangle ceilings, okay. I hate when I replace something in a in the hot bar that I'm gonna need again. Okay, so back to my discussion on this angled stuff. Okay, so the fence foundations act weird um, on sloped roofs. Well, differently, not weird. They probably intended to have that, but it allows you to snap a pillar to it at an angle. Just trying to get the center as possible or straight rather okay now let's see pillar oh really just in case that's causing a problem there we go I think I did one down here too. Oh, there you go. Is it connected out? Yep, okay. So I didn't actually use this one. Did I have it further out? I think I had it further out. So. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it if it'll let me. Here, it probably won't. Oh, okay. It did. All right. I don't remember exactly how I did it in um in the other boat and I haven't I haven't checked it out yet. But I want to uh just see because I that one pillar is definitely too far okay let me get rid of these walls oh geez there's a whole nother <laughs> that's why it was further it was further in I gotta ch say change the time of day so you can see what's going on <laughs> So I got it right, but it was too far back. Oh, hey, hi, Eternal Fox, thank you very much. Sorry, I was figuring out a problem. Uh, my, my mind was elsewhere there. Uh, didn't check the chat well enough. I'm doing the tilted structures from Cat, Cat the Fat Dog to make that pointy thing in the front, which I don't know. The bow is the front of the ship, and if that's called the bow, I don't know. Come on. I think I'm gonna have to uh, get rid of this ceiling to make it happen, and then place it back. Yep, there you go. How far will it let me go out? I think that's it. I don't think it will. No. Let me think I had another one further down. Yep. That looks weird. That does not look right. Now I have to go back to the video. <laughs> no, it was definitely further straight. What did I do? That is not right. <laughs> Sorry, it's making me laugh. That's just not right. <laughs> okay. Let me just let me just look here. Okay, 
We're gonna get we're gonna get rid of the, these roofs here. I'm gonna figure this part out. Because this is definitely how I did it. Alright, no worries. Always nice to see you, Mercy. Thank you. Okay, so this is too high. So does that mean this one is right? I just was just misjudged it. Maybe I had to go further down. Come on. Come on. Alright. Uh, let's try the pillar again. Let's go further down. Oh yeah, I guess it kind of did come out through the top there. But it was still a little bit less of an angle than that. Oh, see, that is not the right angle. What the heck did I do? Did I use a... Did I, I didn't take it off the pillar. Think, think, think. What did you do? putting walls up all right let's just try further down it's as far down as it goes huh unless I did it high oh okay I think I I think I did it higher up I think so we're just gonna try it and see if it works It doesn't, it doesn't. What, whatever. I just gotta figure out what the heck I did. We're gonna try this again. No. That's still gonna be the same angle. Oh, now I'm, now I've annoyed myself. I have officially annoyed myself. Uh, but I'm a little determined now. To try to figure this out. remember oh wait no okay um, my memory is coming back I think I ended up doing a pillar I think and then I did it off of this pillar to get the better angle see how it changes the angle again oh goodness gracious and that's straight Whoops, there. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yes! Is that it? Is that the better angle? And then did I get one further down? Yeah, because that one... Hold on. Let me just comparison. Is that like the same angle? No. Yeah, and I think the original is like I can't I can't access it now because there's gonna be a servers. The servers done closed, and on my videos I had it all walled in. I think I am on to something though. I do think I did something with the pillar, up, like off the pillar again. I'm really sorry. I feel like this is not something you should be doing on a stream trying to figure out 
I got something to work the first time. Something with a ceiling? Oh, okay. Let me try a ceiling on top of the pillar. Because, I mean, that's originally how Captain Fat Dog, I, I believe, was when we were doing the upside down house. That's how he ended up getting um, the snap point that was completely upside down. And he was working on that, showing me how to do it. It had something to do with... Yeah, see, that thing's just not enough foundational support, though. So, unless, unless for some reason I can make it one... Um, uh, he just kept, like, curving the snap point. Yeah, this is not, this is not working. Nearby foundation support. I know I turned it. And if I do it just straight, then it's just going to be a horizontal. I don't think I want it just horizontal. If I just use the pillar and snap it to the pillar, it would be a horizontal. I can't believe I did this, and now I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> Can you believe that? Nonsense. <laughs> oh, fire. Wah, wah. I should be like, I should have my own, like, you just did a silly thing. Sound music, like in uh, TV shows. Wah, wah. With like a laugh track. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you just did a fire. So this is not gonna be right either because this is just gonna get me something going straight out. And that's not what I did. Oh my goodness. All right, I, I'm going to just take a break from that because I'm too frustrated. <laughs> I really can't, can I? I've got to fix it. Don't run away. Don't run away from the pain. You can figure it out. You did it once. You obviously tilted it. Well, you know, that's actually not so half bad if I just do it one up. It's not the same thing. I, 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 but on ships, do they go straight out? Or do they go up? I mean, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in myself right now. I don't know if I can even think of an answer. I know I had it on the slope, though. I did not do it like this. This is not how I did it. But I do remember, I re I'm having memories now. <laughs> Terrible short-term memory. It's only a Saturday. Uh, I do have memories of the slope not being correct and messing around with it, but now I can't remember how I did it. All right, I'm just going to throw that down to see where that... Because it definitely wasn't sticking out, so... You know what? No, and no, and no, and no. So, what do I do? What do I do, do I do? Do I just try to take this again? Maybe I'm doing something crazy. Maybe it's all in this, even though I'm thinking that's like the slope. But then again, I guess the angle of the slope because it's going to hit the middle of that fence foundation. Right? So if I put it up here, that pillar's going to hit there. Okay. So maybe it's just all about where I have this fence foundation. If I wanted it higher. All right. Let's just... Oh, I can't think this out. I hate that. I hate the limitations of my brain. Oh, and that thing is just going to snap now, isn't it? 
No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do the original, which was here, and roll with it. <laughs> I'm just disappointed in myself, because I know, I know I figured it out one time or another, and I thought it was as simple as just doing this. But I do remember at one point I did just end up um, I did just end up uh, getting rid of everything else and it was just like standing there. It somehow got grounded into the foundation. Come on. There we go. So I'm just going to do this and we're, and we're just going to live with these people. You know what? Wait a sec. Is that what I had? It just doesn't look right. Can it go like no? I'm still not. I'm still not okay with it. Like, I'm still trying to change it. <laughs> It's just going to bother me, isn't it? I don't think it's going to snap to those fence found... Uh, well, it snaps to that fence foundation when you're doing it, like, when you're trying to do a horizontal pillar. So, what is the dealio here? So, I'm definitely going to have to just take this out of editing. <laughs> just edit take that out like pay no attention to this past hour and a half <laughs> it's just struggle straight up struggle now what did i do to make the difference what and i, I couldn't put a ceiling on there right <gasps> oh no wait wait i got the ceiling snap okay i couldn't get it before no fence foundation you gonna place or are you gonna mess with me because no because I have that other fence foundation there all right let's see if I can get rid of that not gonna do free flowing there though yeah I don't think the ceiling I don't know why I was so excited about the ceiling I don't think the ceiling makes a difference Looks weird. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe these. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think I, s I know I said this like 20 times already, but I think this was it. So I had the first pillar up, and then I think I did a fence foundation on it, and I believe. If it's right but somehow I snapped those I think I snapped those triangles the sloped sides onto that oh my goodness I do not know what I'm doing right now Do I snap these sideways? 
You know what's crazy? I bet Captain Fat Dog could just watch the first five minutes and be like, nope, I know what you need to do. It's all wrong. I do apologize for this portion of the programming. <laughs> That's snapping right to the firm foundation. Interesting. We're just gonna try something crazy here. No, not working. Why is that one snapping there? Is it because of the fence on it? So it'll snap to the fence foundation there, but not there. I wonder why the heck that is. Nearby foundation support. Mm, does this help? Oh, I should probably just put debug on, but I don't know if that would necessarily help me. To see what um, is foundational and what's not. Okay. No. Let's just let's just see what this does. Oh didn't even let me place it. Here I'm getting all annoyed about it. And it won't even place. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like I should end the stream until I could try to figure this part out. Because I feel like um, this is quite boring to watch me struggle. And unfortunately, I cannot free my mind. Let me try it backwards. I cannot... Did I do it on the underside of it? cannot free my mind of it until I figure it out. Did it go on the underside? No, that's just that. Okay. Okay, so the problem is I know I flipped this around one other time. Hey, I can't recreate the uh, the bow that I did in the original ship, and it's a driving me bonkers, driving me crazy. Wanna shoot something in the face? I'm super crazy mad. <laughs> I've been struggling with this for so long now. I can't. I don't. nothing to go back and figure it out how I did it all right I'm gonna try this again in case this is the answer and I just haven't done it right how far down can I go all right well I guess there and what happens with these suckers Now, are those different tilts? Oh. Oh. There's a little less. Now, can 
why they're down here. It is still too high, I think. Yep. Let's let's go back to the frame for reference here. That is the angle we're looking for. Right here. And I'm not getting it. Okay, so I'm just gonna... <sighs> let me see, let me try sloped again. All right, let me, let me try these suckers. I'm gonna bring it back. I don't know why. I'm just gonna bring it back one. Oh, yeah. Well, I think he's going to do another one, so you should definitely, definitely do that. I'm so sorry. This part is absolutely boring because I am totally frustrated. Can't remember how I turned this. Obviously, I can get the tilt, but I have to get the right tilt. I don't know if I put the ceiling on that. And then do this. Replace. Oh my goodness. Am I close? Am I about to crack it? Oh my goodness, I don't know. If I have, I'm about to get like super excited and give everybody um, air kisses. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my no. I did it. I did it. I did it. Woo! I did it. I did it. I did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Now. <laughs> How I did it, because <laughs> I had completely forgotten. Okay, so it was one, two, three, back. And then I started the tilt, got my pillar at the lower snap point, ceiling, sloped side, sloped ceiling, do another tilt, and out. Now, all of this excess was not in the original one, because I remember I was able to destroy it. Because somehow, when I angled this down, it actually anchored itself into the boat. Now I'm going to attempt it again and destroy stuff and see if that is the case. <laughs> it may not be, and it may all get destroyed again. But I must, I must, I must figure it out. Come on now. Turn, 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 turn. Snap point, snap point, snap point. Does anybody here know that game show? Whammy game show? I think it was from the 70s. And it was like, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. I am so, I'm sorry if I am uh, not really watching that. Oh, oh poop doodle. I don't even know if that's a, I could say that, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry for, 
Yes. Sorry for ignoring the chat. I've just been struggling and uh, stressed out. Okay. Moment of truth. I guess if I was smart, I'd put on debugging. <sighs> now, don't cry for me, Argentina, if this all falls apart. Because after all, the competition is over and I'm just trying to recreate it. Here we go. <laughs> this is this is laughter of relief and joy and elation. Okay. Okay, now the bigger picture. Can I get rid of this? Oh yes! I can! I did it! <laughs> I don't know why it's working. I don't know why it's working, but it is. There you go. That's how that incredibly stupid feature was done. <laughs> uh, and then I just blocked it in. All right. That's, that's really all I did. I just blocked it in at the end. All right. Let's see. Where are my walls? And I do think I tried to do something uh, interesting by reversing them. But you know, I don't like that gap there, so whatever. And you know, actually, before I do that, let me see how much of it I blocked because I know that there was um, some decorative items. So let's skip to the front. Yeah, see, it's just one wall out. See, the pillars actually, um, I covered it up with that decoration, so you don't see it. Okay. So we're one we're one wall out then. Hi, Grossy. Uh, how are you? I don't know if uh, you've been on the stream before, but welcome aboard again. I'm so sorry if I was neglectant of my chat duties there. I was sweating bullets. Could not get that thing to work for me. Driving me nuts. Wanted to kill someone, but now it's over. So now I am happy. I managed to recreate it. And I know how I recreated it, so I could try to do it again. But man, that was bothering me. Man, that really was. I was really stressed out. And I just kept saying, it, it's, it just kept getting worse. Because in the back of my head, hi ICS, nice to see you. I was actually talking about you earlier. But I was so stressed out because in the back of my head, I was going, uh, oh my gosh, you're spending so much time on this. You're losing all your, which I did. I actually lost some people, but I, I don't blame you. For those of you that left, I, I really don't blame you. That was not fun to watch. It really wasn't. Oh, you know what? Actually, while I'm in here, um, I want to do the uh, large taxidermy that I end up putting on the top. I'm just trying to get back there to the front. Because normally I would put them on the tilt, but that was before I figured out these tilted structures. Or not figured out, but I mean like figured out how to do them. Captain Fat Dog was the one that figured it out in the game. Okay, it looks like I just put it right up on the top. Alright, so I can just do the ceiling. Yeah, um, I definitely, I want work. I want work. I definitely do. I just need you, um, HFG, to tell me time and place, what you're working on so I can actually get a work schedule going. That's what I need because there's projects of mine and ones that are collaborations that I want to do, um, but I just want to try to make sure that I'm managing my time well. So I, I, need, I need to know when you'll be working on stuff. Oh, man, I'm so relieved <laughs> that's done. <laughs> Okay, so then I think I just stuck the large taxidermy in there. Let me get the railing and the taxidermy. Oh my gosh, I'm still so relieved. I'll definitely be editing this. I don't want to put that back up with people. All right, now you, you could do something cool and, and tilt it if you wanted, but it, it looked just fine flat. And um, 
I end up using a phoenix because they glow at night. I think just think they look cool. And I do like too how the um, the edge of the taxidermy base looks from the side of the boat as well. That I don't know. That just reminds me of some of the detail that they would put on the ships. And then I know there's cannons, which I think are there and there. So I think these railings are gone. There and there. Okay, now I'll get some cannons, throw them up. Tuesday, Thursday, next week. Okay, awesome. During the day, that's when I'm free. Change your song. So Tuesday, Thursday, next week. Let me just write that down. Oh, darn it. I do not have a pen, so I have to use my computer. HFG collaboration. Tuesday, Thursday, next week. Okay, okay. All right, I got it down. I'll, I'll put it in my book. Oh, I'm so relieved that that's over. The stress of that was unreal. <laughs> It just, I mean, it was frustrating its own, just was so much worse knowing that there were, I was doing it on a stream. Now, I have made boats with, with the railings, but they will destroy the railings when you shoot them. So it's best to just leave it free and clear. So make sure. Yep, I can still get through. Okay. Where did it land? Are you referring to uh, the tilted issue that I was having? ICS. Just of me to do this, but oh, I think both days. I'm not really sure if he if he's got multiple builds. I mean, if you think this is slow, my decorating is like molasses. <laughs> I'm just slow, okay. Can't help it. <laughs> I can still get through, okay. <clears throat> All right, boxes and benches, boxes and benches. Hey, warrior. Oh, good to see you. I'm much better now. I'm happy you're here, but I was also quite stressed out. I couldn't remember how I got something done. I managed to, to get it though in the end, but it was like at least, it felt like it was at least 30 minutes struggling, which was super embarrassing on a stream. Whatever. <laughs> That's life, people. Oh, do I already have benches out? I do. All oh, right. I think, um, oh, I know Raccoon 
could always use help. Um, I, I have my own project that I'm going to be working on. I've been trying to get people to do. Um, I think Elvers is interested in helping. I don't know who else is will. Um, it might it might just end up being me and maybe Elvers. It's going to be difficult because it's going to have some floating components to it. I'm not really sure in the mood, but so be it. Now, I think I have uh, benches there. Let me just see. Where did my where did my little thing go? My video. There you go. I know you guys have it on the screen, but okay, just boxes. Okay. I miss you though, HFG. Not gonna lie. We haven't really hung out and done anything in a long time. These are just decorative boxes here. I think I did uh, a stack, so I used that table trick. We got three boxes in the row. Another way that, cause so, I think there's a lot of people that know that you know you can stack make boxes look like they're stacked up by using a table but uh, I had also recently realized that crop plots um, with clipping enabled um, kind of like will climb up a uh, a pillar so another option if you wanted to get higher than just you know the, the one under the table and the one on the table if you hide a pillar in it then um you can get you it you can do a if the box won't go on top of the pillar because i can't remember if it does you can put a crop plot on the pillar and then put the box on the crop plot crop plot it's almost like a shelf most everything attaches to it uh, what am i doing here oh, table You did not run six miles today, warrior. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. That's that's some good stuff. You're going to be so buff. You're going to be beating girls away. I think I just threw one there fishing basket somewhere too would look good do the same thing here we got three boxes six miles wow that's so good still six miles that's uh, an accomplishment. Now I know you were in wrestling and all that stuff when you were younger. You were you were like a, a pure athlete in high school and such. But to have you, um, I'm gonna go so I can line this up nicely. Uh, do you remember what your previous record was? Oh, I'm running out of time. I have about thirty to forty minutes left. And then I have to, I could take an intermission. But I kind of want to get this done. Come on. Is that as close as I can get it? I did another, I think I need to do another stack. No boxes, I think I did too high.
I'm ghosting right now so I can try to line this up as best I can. And let me just double check. Because I know, I know I did another le level, but I just want to make sure. Here, I'll show you what I'm looking at. I did... Was I able to stack another table? Because I don't think I did that with a... Um there you go. Is it a table? Alright. Let's see if I can recreate that. So, how did I do it? Let's see. Is it another table? Oh! I do not remember tables being able to stack. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I did the fish trap there. Hold on, I saw that. I didn't get all of it before the notification went away. So let me just place this fish trap and I will read that. I always accidentally punch things, sorry. <laughs> Three levels and I'm the third offset and place a small font. Oh yeah, I guess that's what I was doing anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm recreating what I did um the one the one I entered already that one. So I'm just recreating. I'm trying I'm literally going through videos I took of it to recreate it as I have it. See, that's what the video on the screen is and that's what this video is. All right, I put a vessel there. Okay. And then I do believe I had a large chest here and then a table that came out from it. I did. I did win. I was super awesome. I was telling people earlier how, how stupidly excited I was during it too. My family happened to be visiting and I made them all watch it like it was a movie premiere. <laughs> I'm only laughing at myself, laughing at how, how exciting it was and important to me. I was very excited. Yeah, all right. That's cool. Well, thanks for leaving it running. Appreciate the minutes. <laughs> Gotta get those watch minutes. Watch time minutes. Yes, it, uh, I was able to though, because uh, you know, and, and when we did a build, um, you had to do the front because I wasn't very good at it. But obviously, with the triangles, I was able to do it. But I was able to do some new things too. Like this part sticks out. Okay, that was the part that I was cursing. But I got that with the tilted structures and then this is different in the back so oh, you know what that reminds me I need to put in this back part here all right so I need a wall and a sloped now I, I could say too if uh, anybody was so inclined you could um, use the stairs they might look pretty cool texture wise as an alternative the one thing i think that our pirate ship ended up having i thought was was pretty cool 
was um, when I added the tech doors in the front because we had we had cannons all over that sucker. That thing was gonna take you down, and um, we did so they because they wouldn't fit in the windows. So we did those tech doors to um, so that like if you walked up to shoot the cannon, the door would open and then you could shoot through it. I don't know if we, did we test it? We were shooting. I remember riding around shooting. I just don't remember if the walls got any damage to it. Oh, that's so kind of you. I really appreciate that, Grossy. Hey, that stuff just takes time. I've literally only been doing it since January, so in retrospect, I've actually got a lot of subs in a short time, so I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, and it just comes. It, you just gotta, I gotta constantly be putting out content. I feel a little bit guilty I've been doing more streams than anything, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I had windows across here. And here. I think I did them down here as well. So just in the back. I'll, I'll double check my work in a second. Nevertheless, even though I am happy, it certainly is nice to have someone say that to me. That's very flattering. Thank you. Oh, I will keep that in mind, HFG. Thank you. All right, let me just double check to make sure I got all the windows because there might, might be one I'm missing. All right. <clears throat> Let's see that replay. Yes, okay. I do have a window down here. Just put in some glass, greenhouse windows. So, um, because of the time and that tilted part took, so I don't know if that, uh, it, to be honest, it, it does take a long time to do all the painting and decorating anyway. Um, I'm probably not going to get to that portion on this stream. I'll have to stop and restart it again when I'm free later on tonight. And then I might just put them all together into like a, a speed build. Wait, let me just get some fence foundations and I'll stick the doors down. Wait, I did not understand that, <laughs> HFG. I said, what you talking about? You got so subs, LOL, uh, OL, me with with small amount, LOL. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that. You might want to try it again. <laughs> I, would, I would tease you and say, do you uh, do you English much? But you know what, I'm only messing. All right, now, these were a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, because they're jumping around like some jumping beans. So I'll put a pillar here. I did put a pillar here. Okay, well, oh, that's right. Gave me a problem up there. But I think I managed to make it work down here under the door frame which actually means I have to remove that ceiling oh no if I look up how does it work if I look up in the ceiling it might go down to the oh I think if I go below if I go below and look up I might go to the floor which is the ceiling there so if I try to do it here yep and that's where I want it I'll do it over here too 
I can, uh, what did I do with them in the, uh, oh no, they were just sticking to the ceiling. I didn't even address them. I just left them there. <clears throat> Sometimes I turn those things into, um, like chandeliers or something, but it was just such a small area that I think I put a firm foundation here. I think I went down further, but I'll just double check my work. I know I have um, a catwalk that goes across. Nope, I just left it at the one. Okay. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to put... Oh, no wait, I did have them down there, because I had the catwalks going across there. Ah, yes, that, yeah, okay, that, that's what I was saying, that's what I was saying too, like, for the time that I've got them, it, I've got a, a, a good amount, yes, I, I would agree with you. Come on. Ooh, that actually crisscrossed. It's hard to actually get it to do, but it must be hitting that upper snap. I wonder what it's snapping to, that upper bit. I had, s <laughs> I had someone tell me uh, they could fall asleep. Actually, someone did say they fell asleep watching one of my how-to videos. I was like, are you sure it just wasn't the content? It's not the snap point I want. I want the lower one. Come on, give it to me. It's just like Russian roulette with these boats when they get crazy like that. Because when you hit the like the cycle through, then it just goes to a different one. I'm just gonna keep placing them until I get it. There we go. That's the one thing I wish the triangles did. Wish they would just let you. It's like triangle ceiling and ceiling pieces. If you don't get the right angle, you can't just keep placing. It doesn't destroy the one that's already there. You have to um, remove it. It's a bit annoying. Come on. Yeah, yep. I think it was the fountain video. I don't know, it was one of them. I forget, I think I had it sticking out that way. Oh no, I didn't. I can't remember what I did. Check the other side. Two, two straight. Boop, boop. If they would fit, I would just crisscross them, but I can't get them crisscrossed. Crisscross, crisscross. There we go. And success. Okay, let's do the pillars on the other side. One there. This 
So uh, for those of you that weren't a part of the original discussion, we actually had a, a would you rather question. I actually was messing around with the poll. Um, there should be, a, to see if I can learn how to do it, there should be a feature up on the top right of the screen with a little uh, icon with an eye on it. Are those the same heights? Yes, okay. And uh, it should say, would you rather question, which is basically, would you rather live 500 years into the future? Or would you rather live 500 years into the past, which brings you to about like when Magellan sailed across the world for the first time. You could bring them down, but I didn't want to snap them into the ceiling and have them show below deck, so. Okay, and then I do believe I did the vessels and the torches here. Yeah, get those. At three o'clock, I'm gonna have to stop um, take a break. Yeah, can I be back on? Oh, nope, wrong thing. I already have that. Torches is what I need. said something before it sounded quite lewd but I didn't mean it to be yep there, go, there I go punching things again now um, there was something that raccoon who was on before uh, did to a pillars that I I copied because I thought it was great was it on this one? Oh no it wasn't on this one I did it on my castle house I did basically um, when I was trying to come up with ideas I um, I was on my server building a bunch of different boats and one of them was that castle I did a, a small a, I turned it into a, a small clip called dancing castle because if you didn't know it was on a boat it looks like a legit castle with a wall around it so just all of a sudden seeing a castle turning about and jumping it, it made me laugh so I put it to some like twist and shout a little promo there for our own little builders competition that we do for fun. <clears throat> Another pillar here, I think. Did I do it too high? No, I don't do it too high. Okay. Anyway, so if you want a, an alternative to this, putting the vessels onto it, um, something else that he does is he uses the artifact. Uh, pillars of oh, sorry pedestals and he puts them like both ways so they make a nice uh, lip around the top of the the wooden pillar it looks really good I think he did it on his boat I like how the um, wooden pillar sticks out from the sides of the vessel I just want to call it a pop or whatever. You know, I don't probably get out to me about it. Okay, let's get some wall. Wall torches. If there was anything that was like a go-to decorative item for me, it's these wall mounts. I wonder if they'll ever like come out with DLCs that's pure decorative type of content doesn't necessarily have any real function in the game it's just kind of stuff you could put on your builds I think I doubled this up to try to make it look a little bit wider oh, but it always does that Sometimes. come on There we go. Now, the sad thing is you can't actually put like a bench or a chair or anything here because 
like I said, this last section here, you're not going to be able to place anything. You can only place stuff starting here. So, that's why there was nothing back there in my other ones. All right, smarty pants. <laughs> I can't wait to get onto your server, ICS, because you've got some crazy looking mods. But we're on console, so on console is, is where we need the, the love and attention. Flex pipes as wheels. Would they be really big? The flex pipes? Because they're still like practically a wall. A little bit bigger than a wall, no? Oh, come on. Here we go. I'll have to go and get rid of those extra ones. It does this a lot on boats as well. Don't know why. I'm just gonna go back behind and get rid of it. Because it's locked, so you can't even use it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not even gonna. You know what? It doesn't matter. In that situation, it does not matter. Aaron's build, I had to use every. I kept running into the structure limit, so I <laughs> had to like get rid of any unnecessary item at all. Like, at all. So then I just put walls in here. Uh, I will mess with it and try it. Oh, Egypti. I will give it a shot. cabinets in here. I did a table here. As far back as I could go. Because I, I don't think I even bothered putting a bench there. Oh, that's, that didn't even line up. Oh well. I saw some posts on Facebook about it today. It starts with a V, doesn't it? That's the one I'm thinking of. What's the name of the map? I don't know. Did I have something in the middle? Yeah, let's just see. Let's just assume I did. I don't necessarily like rooms that are one high, but whatever. It worked. And I think because there was just emptiness up here, I was able to put in the chests. Volcano. Oh no, that's not what I heard. So, is this like a console map that's coming out?
I'll admit, because of the structure limit I was running into, there's there's not that much here. That was fantastic in regards to, like, it just felt a little bit like filler. In this room. So, this map, what's, because you know how, like, when the maps come out, they usually come out with the new animals and such. Like, Ragnarok was a way, it was a new map, but it, and it was bigger, but it was also a way to get um, dragons to get scorched animals on. Is there going to be, like, new animals on this one? Oh, come on. Be like 20 maps on the outside of the boat. <laughs> there we go. I don't know. I may have to come in and take them off. That way. You've been talking with the devs? Ooh. An official map. So was Volcano one that um, was like, r wasn't Ragnarok a, uh, wasn't Ragnarok a, um, like someone created it, like from the dev kit, and then they made it an official map, like that kind of thing, like Crystal Isles, which I think Crystal Isles is now about, what about, um, is only available in PC. remember if I had a table here. I think I just may have done a bench. I really don't remember what I did. Well, I mean, even if you can't place items because of it's too far away from the raft, you, you could... You could at least um, place animals. So that's that's still a possibility. Oh, okay. I did see something that was um, like a snow golem, and then what looked almost like the tree titan. That kind of a golem. I didn't put that box there last time, but I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it now. Oh, 
I did see a post somewhere, I don't know if it was on Twitter or something, about that. Oh, what am I spelling that? Crazy. Oh, 254. Yeah, well, I, w I, I will finish this today. And then it shouldn't be too hard because I'll just quickly re-edit it and just throw it back together as like a speed build. Not a big deal. <clears throat> and again, I didn't do too much dressing in here because I had all of those um, other outside decorations to try to get done. I don't even think I decorate, like painted these wall mounts. You normally get painted in here. You know you did just say that on a stream, right? <laughs> so I won't repeat it. <laughs> That's cool. Because I have seen people on Twitter um, that have mods that are making modifications to those things. Oh, come on. This is, these are popping inside the, the pillar. Put it high enough? Oop. Oh, there we go. So it'll just be, it'll just be a little bit of fire up in the top. Kind of poking out, but that's okay. I don't think I did much else decorating in those rooms. Oh, what's going on? Okay, but you, you could. I think I do have a carpet down here. There's definitely more that can be done in these rooms. But that's super cool. Look at you getting insider information. Did I do it? Nope, I think I did it this way. You know what I'd like? I'd like one of those bear rugs that they have in those mods. All right, so really, technical-wise, the only thing left, I think, was really the sales. And uh, they're pretty much just flags. And let's, let's see, so we got the catwalks. I can try a zip line, see if they work, too. I'm not going to, I don't know. I mean, I have a little bit longer than just two minutes, but um, it's the bus. I don't want to miss the bus. Never know if they come early. Alright, now, I can't remember where I placed it. I think it was there, but I need to double check it. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I used the catwalks. to try to get further out. So you do this one, I think it was out three. Oh, lag, and then this was out two. It might have been three in the end. I'll have to double check it. But then I tried to get this. Usually you have to do straight before you can get the side ones. Come on. Gosh, I hate that. There we go. 
on. Try to do this by memory here, so I may have to refer back to just make sure I get it right. Oh, did that not snap right? All right, you know what? Let me try something else. What, what, what? Oh, oh wrong thing. Can you not put a ceiling down when a per I didn't know you couldn't put a ceiling down when a catwalk was there. I did not know that. This is not working. All right, let me get rid of the ceiling. Let me get rid of the pillar. Let's see if I put the catwalk on again. Yeah, there we go. I tell you, it's all these invisible rules. All these invisible rules. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some flags. I do have to go. I'm almost done, but I figure if I just throw some up there. Who, me? Are you talking about right now? What are you talking about? Talking nonsense. Pretty sure I stuck one down here, too. Can't remember exactly, but I think I made like multiples of these flags. I really don't remember, but I do remember. Oh, you know what? These are going to be in the way. I won't be able to figure it out. I have to add them later. All right. So now comes the time of doing the sail. You got to kind of do it with a tilt. So I started them in the beginning, in the middle, I mean, bring it out from there. Now go to the side. Get to the end. I think I turn it just slightly. Just slightly. And push it back. And then go again. Go side and then just slightly. I'm trying to make it look like an exact science, but really I'm just winging it every time. I'm just like uh, guessing. a little bit more. I, I feel like these might be a little bit more subtle of a turn. Yeah, I'm trying to get it as far as I can before. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's actually good. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I, I normally put in more of a turn. Yeah, okay. I want to, I think this one is going to be more of a turn. Because I need to get an angle to change it back to that front. I mean, the, the back one. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. You do. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. So, uh... We can definitely party up. Um, it's only going to be a few minutes, you know. It's just a kid. Getting a kid. Getting a child. My child. My honey pet. Can I get one more? I'm just going to stick it on there. 
keep it the same line, extend it out. I don't know how well that curve is. You could do more of an angled, but we're getting there. It's like the main sail, and I think, I do believe, I think I may have put more um, up here. I think I added some more catwalks up there, but I have to double check it. So that way I had three sails and one there, one there, and then one down here. Pretty sure. Let me, let me just test it. I'm pretty sure I did though. Catwalk. Of course, I'm always getting rid of the things I need. I'm pretty sure, I don't think this one needed to be as big as that second one. I think I made this one just taller, but shorter. I mean, that's a complete juxtaposition. I mean, uh, opposites. I think I made it taller, but not as wide. Or that was my point. Let's check it out. Yes. We had the sails. Just two out. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I did? So this part is a ceiling. That way I could get the curve better. I remember messing with it, trying to figure it out. This is actually a ceiling. And then a catwalk. Did I get rid of my ceilings? Of course I did. It's just something I do every time. I go to those first slots. Just overwrite something I'm going to need again. Look, I don't need the vessel right now. Put it there. Alright, so. That way I could get the angle of it better. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's just show one. You can always add those later. You need to be able to see what you're doing. Come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. I don't know if I'm super happy with that, but I'm going with it. I'm going with it. So that's how I did it. And then I do this one. Which I did something. I know I did something to get that. Alright. Did I put a. S I think I did put a wall. Hold on, hold on. This will help me place it. So I won't mess around with it later. Oh, wrong wall. I think I'll need to um, summon in a It is GFI Trophy Stop. Oh, Xbox. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta go slower. Um, one cast is lagging a bit. And then it's Alpha Rex. One for now. It's either a trophy Alpha Rex or Alpha Rex trophy. Oh, I got it. Good. All right. So I want that to stick through. Sometimes this happens too, where in order to make that jump, you have to just come back and adjust this angle. That's okay. It's okay. You can make it work. Okay. <clears throat> And of course, I had these suckers everywhere. Wanted to have one on top of there. Actually, I'll start here first. I don't know. I think I may have had some here. I was trying to. I was trying to make like a very full tiered type of effect with these flags. There may have been more. I may have done more down here. Here? Here? Where was it? No. Here? Oh, no, I'll have to check it out. But anyway, so that's half of it. You can do more of a bend on your sails if you want. And besides the color, we are pretty much done. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I forgot there was the hole inside I didn't get to yet. Down here. So I guess I will be coming back to do that. Because I have to take intermission. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to go on intermission. If whoever's left, if you go ahead and leave, that's cool. I will not take personal offense to it. I do not expect you to stare at a screen. Um, I'm probably going to be a few minutes. Um, it just seems pointless for me to stop the stream and start it again. I'm just going to put it as an intermission and leave the thing going. Let me just get a good angle for people. If they come to check it out, they see at least something. All right. I will be back in a few minutes.
I'm back. I don't know if anyone's still here. One person. Okay. Could be me. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I have to resize that video. It's massive now.
Sorry, sorry. I'm here. I'm here. All right. I'm just trying to figure something out. I was lost in um. <laughs> yeah, I'm still streaming. I did take a, a few minutes break. And I'm just getting back to it. Maybe like five minute break. I struggled. Um, I struggled on the front bit. I couldn't get the the tilt right. That that took a while. And now I'm not. I'm not getting the flag pattern right. But it's not bad how it is. It's just not exact. I had another level of flags so that I don't know how I got it. But I don't know if I really feel like figuring it out. Two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. It is what it is. Well, I kind of figured it would just be better too if I just tried to get the whole thing done, regardless. It's a little messy. Doing it like this on a stream, but so be it. So be it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going. <laughs> you guys are funny. How did you know to check again, or did you just, I mean, it didn't send out a new uh, notification, did it? Because I didn't stop the stream. There's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> I don't know if I got the curve good enough on this. Oh, looks like I do one more. Oh, I should have done it one. Well, I'll just do my best to line it up. Kind of looked cool because it was flat. It wasn't an exact turn. Hmm. Boop! Did I get it? Ugh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, and this one has one, two, three off the top. I really don't think this is the same, but it's still good enough, so I'm going to roll with that. Oh, really? Did you enjoy- were you here for that struggle? Because that was- that was rough for me. I haven't really figured out a way unless people are talking to see who's watching. So, I don't know if anyone was, oh yeah, we all do. I have to say, I think those snap um, fence foundations though are the worst when it comes to struggle. I think I want to readjust this one. Because they just go crazy. Sometimes they just seem to have a mind of their own. So, I haven't checked it, but I think Aaron must have announced his new competition. Building competition. Someone messaged me and asked if I was uh, going to be doing it again. So, I guess I should go check out his Discord and see what what is the word. Yeah. So 
little too far away. I don't like that gap. further get to the buff that's good three on this side Okay, I can't remember exactly how I, I did those flags, so I know you can see the video on your side, but <clears throat> I'm going to try to get to a good spot. Okay. Regular, regular. Yeah, it's this first one I'm not getting. Because this one's on top of the pole. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Do I have the pole higher? Because that would give me the... That would give it to me. I don't know if I have all three. Okay. Just the same height as that one does? It's pretty much the same height. Maybe that's how I have it. Yep, it is how I have it. Okay. <clears throat> Do a catwalk. No, that's not right. Oh yeah, I did it too high. Catwalk's just gonna stick out though, right? Oh no, there we go. There we go. <coughs> I figured it out again. Yay! And then the color.
colors. I think I used tan. So I left it white and then I think I used tan and it's darker. It was either tan or parchment. Let's try tan. And I believe I wanted the outsides to be tan. So I always started on the outside and just worked my way in. Can't have that. <laughs> Can't have that. I guess I'm gonna have it regardless. I'm just being an idiot. Yeah, because you can see the break in that. Oh well. So obviously a lot of people don't do the stripes, they just color all of them, but I thought this looked cool. And then the other ones, I just did some crazy pattern with black and red because the boat was black and white, so. All right, let me go in and finish the inside down here. Actually, I think I've got one more light to put on up here. And I'm pretty sure I put it up on the table. And I painted it orange. Okay. All right, so then <clears throat> to cover this up, I used something that I saw uh, the YouTuber Third Echelon do, which I thought was cool. So he used it in a boat uh, and a, a dock to look like a larger chest. I just thought it was super cool. Feeding trough. And then a table. Now the feeding trough you can't use with the table in it. <coughs> I tried. It's, it's like it's locked up. I 
just put some boxes. I don't remember exactly how I placed them, but I'm just come on there randomly. Why, hello, King Cobra. Thank you for popping onto the stream over there on Twitch. I don't know if I did this before, but I'm using that pillar to raise up that box. Okay, now, I do believe I've put in some forges there. <clears throat> nice and covered up. All right. So I had my fabricator in here. Ooh, thank you so much for the follow slash subscriber, whichever one you were. Appreciate that. Huh. <sighs> So I'm getting close to the end. <clears throat> it's only been a few hours. No biggie. <laughs> I will try to... I'll upload it and then I'll try to down, uh, download and redo it as a uh, speed build. And edit out some of it since I was stuck on that front. I'm just going to check to make sure it didn't go through. Okay, we're good. Let's head back in. And then I believe I put a bookshelf and a smithy. Look at those. Oh, thanks, Dirty. I'm, I'm glad. I think I was self-conscious the first time I did it. I, I was just thinking, you know what, it'll just be more for me so that I have a reference of everything I did without having to chew up all that space in um, my own computer. Who is it that you watch? And what and what is it that they do? Ah, <laughs> that is true. I guess if you're at work and you have the ability to do it. You just kind of keep it 
on on the down low. I forgot how I did this. I'm pretty sure I covered it up. And because of clipping, I could get away with it. Pretty sure. I don't know if I curved it like that. I could have made it straight. I don't remember. I didn't forget about you. I'm just trying to finish up. I like to put stuff there to hold the gasoline. But anyway, I can access, 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 access. Okay, that's all. That's good enough. <coughs> yeah, I just I did an alternating pattern of boxes and chests here. Why, hello again, Johnny Keys. <laughs> Saying your name brings me great joy and happiness, my friend. And I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> it sparks joy. <laughs> you guys know about that movement? Or is it just women? Just women paying attention to that. That Netflix uh, show that came out after her book. What was her name? Marie Kondo. I think my mom's a pat rack. A pat rack? A pat rack. Guys, you want to tell me what a pat rack is? I don't really know what one is. <laughs> a pack rat. Anyway. But I heard that there was like a huge... Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, she's... She's like a best um, bestseller. Her book about getting rid of stuff and how to clean. And she's got a unique method to it. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, after Netflix came out with a show about it. It just went. It was huge. And everybody was just cleaning out their closets. Especially with clothes. And then people like uh, the Salvation Army were just inundated with all these donations. So, is anybody in Aaron's Discord that uh, could see what his his competition is for this week, when it starts, what it is? If you wouldn't mind sharing it with the group. <laughs> I just I just read your comment, Johnny Keys. <laughs> uh, is it like a pure uh is it like a a city type of accent or is it like a rural accent cuz that would be fun. Rural Irish accent. I'm not even going to try. I used to think I could do an Irish accent until I actually went to Ireland. And I was told it was horrible, and thus Americans don't know how anybody sounds. <laughs> we should just go over it. I'm like, wow, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I believe I have some cages and uh, forges. And then besides color, thank goodness, I think... We're pretty much done. I think I put some boxes up by the flags, but you guys can figure that out, I think. And cages. Okay. Really, I'm sure most people, when they end up watching this, it's just going to be more about the, um, the building of the boat and not necessarily all this stuff inside, but maybe. Maybe. I think I ended up doing four over here.
So this would be good, I think, to put in uh, your beetles and stuff. But uh, I would be weary <laughs> because I've had on my castle boat where I had dodos and stuff. Uh, when because that was really hard to see out of not this one. This one is um, you can see pretty well when you drive it. Oh, I can get five in here. That might be useless on that corner there. Oh, no, that'll work. Um, <coughs> the, uh, the dodos and everything were, were coming out of the... They were being moved all around, shifted. Like, whenever you would... Uh, what's the word? Mesh together. Clip. Whenever you would clip the boat structures into the ground or another boat, the animals would get shifted. So, Just fair warning. I think I had six forges. Maybe I had eight. I like to squish them together. Oh, a really rural thick accent. Yes, I bet that was awesome. Tronic haze. Now, actually, I can only even. I'm, I'm not even saying I'm good at it. Nope, that was six. Um, that was pretty pretty terrible when I just tried there. But um, I could only even get there if I'm trying to say a curse word. I don't know what that's about. Very clear. Say it. <laughs> I'm trying to mouth it with not actually saying it, but I can't. <clears throat> Although, screw it. I do think that. Uh, Google just checks the first, I mean Google, uh, Yahoo just checks the first 30 seconds? For fuck's sake, motherfucker. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, pretty sure my husband would kill me for that one. I think I just put a table here. I don't think I had a box of any type there. <clears throat> and then some chairs. <clears throat> that is pretty much it. I am going to do a little bit of color just to show you what I did down here. So, <clears throat> I do believe the bottom I painted black. Let's get the gun back. black and then mud and then red and I think it was here that I did it but let me just double check <clears throat> nope it was underneath the, the half part okay so here back we painted red oh. Oh, what is it not five one. What am I doing wrong? All right. I hate when I click too many buttons because of lag. Okay. <clears throat> it's completely the wrong colors. So it's, it's six, isn't it? Do I still have soap on me? Yes. Okay. And disable. Enable. Okay. Oh, I'll have to get it from the inside. It's all right. Those are ones. 
guys look at the other side. Get rid of these half ones. <clears throat> Stop lagging. There we go. <clears throat> windows are the same. Yes. Okay, good. I just want to point out that by angling that paint, it just, it sections off the boat. <coughs> I think the trim I do is in black and mud. <coughs> the railings, I did um, black up on the top and red up for these ones, but I think I have to paint them because I don't think you can use a spray paint on a railing for some odd reason. Let me try, using six. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, no, it does. I'm an idiot. It totally works. Psh. Okay. I'm not really worried about those. They're buried in there. Okay. And then right here I switch to black. Actually, before I do that, I should probably do the rest of these. husband is home and straight to put on Liverpool game. I did get a hello, so that was nice. That map is not supposed to be there, but I'll have to ghost to get rid of it. Or destroy the wall. Yeah, he's a Liverpool fan. Loves Liverpool. Alright, so now I need to do the black here.
you know, I probably have pink red on the inside of these walls. Another, I think instead of red too, if you did black and yellow, that would look really good. Oh, I should try zip lines, shouldn't I? Oh, I did that already. Yeah, I should try zip lines. I honestly, I'm gonna look like an idiot if I try it because I've only done them and hung from them. I've, I've never actually figured out how to do anything else. Like to put them down. It's probably not hard, but I don't know how to do it. Never tried it. Just reach in two. Pretty sure I think I did this all in black. That might have been mud or black, it doesn't matter. But they're they're close enough. Oops, I'll fix that. Oh, lag got me. Okay. I think, oh yeah, just down at the bottom. This row. There's really no point to, to they're just so close. I thought the subtle change might add a little bit of depth, create some, like a, a shadow of sorts. Could just be talking nonsense, but I thought it looked good, the two toned. I think I left that brown. Okay, and then I did that mud. Oh no, I don't need the section, I can find it. And I think I just painted everything so the inside was mud. Okay. Okay. It's so subtle. It's making me question myself. Wait, did I actually do mud? <laughs> it's so subtle. the same. Yeah, it's the same. Whatever.
this is something I saw Satara's do. And I was like, what are those what are those rolled up things on your boat? And he was like, ladders. I'm like, genius. Now, this crow's nest. This was a bit tricky, because you technically cannot build any higher than that. However, I was able to cheat. I was able to cheat by using a table. Oh, that's not a table. <laughs> I was able to cheat by using a table, because the table stacks on top of each other. So what I tried to do, I may not be able to do it. I tried to get two tables next to each other. Like that. This is total cheat now. Total cheat. Because I couldn't, like, I tried putting... Oh, yes. And then I got fence foundation. I think, I don't know if it worked. I just am trying to remember what I was doing to try to get this crow's nest. Because you can put them on tables. I just don't think the railing works after the fact. Yes, I am the cheater. <laughs> you know you would totally use it if you if you realized. <laughs> I don't even think the railing is going to work. Um, I think that failed when I tried. But I'm going to try it again just to be sure. I think I ended up just putting boxes and a, a purse and taxidermy. And a chair. But really, you couldn't even climb to it. Oops. You, you wouldn't even be able to climb to it because the, uh, I couldn't get a ladder up there. Now, too high above the platform. But, look. I mean, if I wanted to, I could put another table. doesn't look the same does not look the same oh you know what did I try a bench I might try something different do benches because I think you could put a bench on the table right I think possibly I don't see what I don't need yeah I don't need that okay yes you can okay so I think I used the bench If not, I'm using it now. That's too far, but can I? Wait, wait, wait. If I do this, it's gonna stick out quite a bit, isn't it? Because that is gonna do that to me every time. Oh, I must I go? No, I can't go past that point. All right, so if I do this, oh, I probably could have gotten that further in. Sticking. Oh, no. Don't want that. Try again. A try again. Computer says no. Alright. And go. Might look stupid sticking out from the front. And it does. Whatever. What I'm trying to figure out is if that would extend the bench out from the table a bit. Which. I don't know if it is. Let me just test it over here. Oh, I think it is. I think it is extending it just the tiniest bit. I don't really know if there's a point to it, but this is this is how you experiment and just come up with with whoops with BS. That's that's what you do. I'm trying to get it on its. It's like breathing. In there. So close. And there. Now, if I remove this fence foundation, will the bench stay? That is like taking a tablecloth off. 
<laughs> that is legit like taking a tablecloth off of a uh, a table with all of this the china still on it. Not a hundred percent sure on the purpose of this, unless it kind of looks like railings, kind of, kind of, kind of. Oh, this is, I guess since I can remove them, they don't really have to be perfect. They just have to give that extra lip of support for the bench. I wonder if I did an artifact that would look good too. That's not so bad looking. Let's do one more. Can. The benches might be in the way now. <laughs> well, that's the end of that. But you know, it's 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 not so bad the way it is. And I could just put a bench in a little bit further. Oh, look at that! Because of the pillar, it's. Oh, I thought it was going to lower itself down. I guess I could have if I wanted to. Alright, that's not what I did in the video, but whatever. I was just messing around. Did something different. Gave you an alternative. I want to get to that wooden fence foundation. I'll get rid of it. I'm going to have to ghost, I think. Wooden table, wooden table. But anyway, couldn't, um, there's no ladders, no ladders down. And if you were to do a ladder, you only go one up. But there's really no way to get up there. It's just for show. But I don't even know if the benches look good, but it's another option. And then I just, I mean, I, I, I just put boxes. Boxes and stuff everywhere. I'm a bit tired, so I don't even think I'm going to bother with that. I know I did put in tables and such over here. Come on there. Come on there. Do I still have my chairs? No. Oh, I did put the large storage boxes there to help with that. I don't know if I put one over on this side, but I'm doing it now. So Raccoon, what was the, uh, what's the topic? Is it like movie scenes? What's Aaron's build competition topic? All right. I think I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, you're right. I forgot about the zip lines. Okay, so walk me through this because I have yet to do this. All right? Because I know how to shoot them. But I don't know how to, like, attach them. If that makes any sense at all. And I think, do I just need a crossbow? Maybe I don't need maybe I don't use a crossbow. What do you use for zip 
There's a zipline motor that you, I know that. If I click on that, is it gonna tell me what I can attach to it? Do I use a long neck? Anyone? <laughs> I will have to look it up on the wiki soon. There are no responses. But if you do not answer me. All right, what does it say? Oh, and I lost my crossbow. Okay, I'm gonna look it up, because I don't know. Nobody's telling me. So let's look it up here. Are you not? Is the pole there? Yeah, the pole's there. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Arc zip line. Hello, Arc. I am extremely new and dumb to how this works. Oh, you know. <laughs> this is what came up, guys. I'm just saying. That's funny. <laughs> Let's go back to actual Arc and Gamepedia. Let's try that. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, I was just trying to figure out how to do this. All right. It is a crossbow. Load an anchor into a crossbow and fire at any surface within a reasonable distance. Fire another anchor at a spot above or below to create the zip line. All right. So I just shoot, shoot two of them. All right, let's give this a shot then. Let's try it again. Find my crossbow. Uh, I'm going to just be m making up uh, points. I'm not really sure what would be the best ones. Now, that looks like... No ammo. So, do I have to put it in there somehow? I thought they just automatically went in when there was nothing else. You know, like if you had an arrow in your inventory and you brought your crossbow, I thought it just automatically loaded into it. But maybe it doesn't. Sorry for the noise behind me. Okay, it just didn't. Okay. So I shoot one from the top and then down from the bottom. Where would I want these to go? They usually go down to the sides, right? Alright, so I'm gonna just make a guess. And then that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Reason was immediately after you fire another anchor. Hmm. Oh, okay, so there'll be a dot if it can be created. So we'll do this one. Oh, wow, but see, that's not even, that's not even attaching there, is it? Because even normally I could just zip line, not a problem. Oh, I'm, you know what? I'm thinking of grappling hooks. That's why. It said they'd show a dot. I don't see a dot. I don't really think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just reading up on it. Ah. 
I have no idea why it is not working. I'm sure it's me. Alright, let me let's try just a easy Nope. Sorry. Tis not working. It's got to be something I'm just n not figuring out, not seeing. But anyway, we have finished it. Voila! The boat is done. It only took all day. Oh, I forgot to paint the pillar. I painted the pillars uh, mud. Got carried away. And something is going awry with that. Why do you look so silly? What are you about? Alright. Well, you can just be crazy. And I don't care. I'm sure there's a reason. The walls backwards are some crazy. There's a double wall on it somehow. I'm not reaching the wall. I have to like ghost into the background. Now I painted the black part. Well, whatever. Sorry, I think I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatevs. Whatevs, boat. Whatever. Boat. I don't want to hear it. Boat. <laughs> Can boat be used as a curse word? <laughs> You're such a boat. Whatever, boat. Back the boat up. <laughs> Back that boat up, yo. Um, yes, and these are brown. Brown, brown, brown. All of these with brown. Yeah, I really am just getting a little sloppy now because I'm a little, a little tired. You know what I should do? All right. For, forget painting the rest of the mask. They're mostly covered. Yeah, I know I was trying, but the zip lines were not attaching. Uh, what I should do is just drive it now that it's done. I'm going to ghost into that pay that, that wall, though, and fix that because that's going to drive me nuts on any videos. This one right here. Oh my goodness, Lana. I love my son, and I love that he wants to be next to me. I, I love that, but he's always just so loud. No, I painted the cage. Whatever, boat. Oh, so is the anchor not what I want? I want something that says zipline? Oh, I'll read your messages in one second. Uno momento, por favor, mi amigo. <laughs> por favor. Okay, oh, like, por favor. All right, so I'm just using an anchor but the anchor is not what I want. I want something called a, a zip line. And I thought if I just put in zip, I'd find it. All right, let me read your message. Mm, do you have a zip line? All right. I'll just do it this way in case for some reason I had the wrong thing. Because I was only finding the anchor when I put in the word zip. Line. Thank you for your help, Raccoon. Twelve. Zero. Zero. Do we have zip lines? No, nope, they're just more anchors. I will try it one more time. Now I have 
52. So let's just do it from an easy, so a high point and a low point. High point, and then it said you should see a dot, low point. They're just going right into the ground. So it's not working, and I'm, I'm sure it's me. But anyway, so I'm going to drive the boat now. Of course, I did some paint on the inside, but you can pick that up from the video. Oh, let me get rid of that. Oh, what? Are you seriously causing me problems? Oh, I will. I will demo you, and I will put that light further out. Why is it when you're rushing, everything just seems to go cockeyed? I don't know if that's going to be any better. It might be, because it's just about popping up right underneath that wall. So let's test it. In. Out. Yes, okay, you just have to duck. You just, that's all. You just got to duck. But you all live. And then I put a hatch frame on the top, which I did not do here. Oh, I forgot again. Deactivate clues. Okay. Be easier to see. So that's not too bad for being able to drive. It's not too bad. It's not perfect. But that's not too bad. You're still going to need, you know, people to help you with cannons and, and such. And if you go straight, you are just going to fall backwards through there. Oh, but if you leave the door open, yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, there we go. That is the boat. That is my boat boat. So, uh, oh, I forgot to put red on the inside. Whatever, I'm always forgetting stuff. So that's it. I'm going to end the stream. I'll try to uh, put this up in a nice, um, maybe a speed build. And uh, HFG, if you want to get into a party, just tell me, are you Discord or Xbox? Partying. And then I put the phoenix. You know what else is good, too, I think, on these boats? Is uh, instead of a phoenix, if you do a squid. But if you do a squid, I think it's best if you put the uh, taxidermy platform facing this direction when you place it. Instead of facing out. Because then you can get a really cool one with the squid where its arms are, like, out. It's going to attack you. But anyway, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me for a very long time. <laughs> You all make it so much fun. This is supposed to be red. There we go. Did I get it on the other side too? By mistake? No, we're good. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have fun. Go build your own now. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Adios.